Hello, everybody. Welcome in. Welcome in. We are getting ready to run episode 77 of Adventures in Wild Mount. We only have a few sessions left, just a few. And uh, this campaign will be complete. Um, so I'm going to give a, uh, oh, you know what, I'll, I'll let the players attempt it. Uh, we haven't got to play in uh, a few weeks, so they might be a little bit rusty on what's going on, what's happening. So uh, we shall see what they can figure out. But without further ado, get to it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the game. Uh, Phoenix will be joining us uh, eventually. I don't know what time, but he will be joining. Um, <clears throat> so, would anybody like to run us through where we're at and what's going on right now? Hey. <clears throat> I'm, looking at my, I'm looking at my notes. There's a fair bit from last game. Um... So, I know right now we're in Zadash. I'm just working backwards. Um, there was a fair bit that happened with some dreams as well. Uh, we were, sorry, no, we were down in the bottom of the dungeon is where we were. We had wrapped up the battle against the Lich, and we were leaving. We found a library, which I found a cool book. And we all found a bunch of stuff, including our third attunement piece in legendary sets. Uh, which had some consequences. Whenever we touched our pieces, we essentially fell unconscious and had visions. And <clears throat> we're looking for a way out of the dungeon. And Richter used teleport spell, teleported us back to one of his childhood locations where he grew up. And walked from that town... Uh, which was the Felderwind village, over to Zadash, which has been, uh, looks like it's a big refugee center for the war. And um, it's pretty grim in Zadash. Lots of famine, lots of crime, uh, poverty. And yeah, we're walking through the city and it's packed. Yes, so. The outside looked like quite quite a refugee camp. Uh, children running around with their parents or crying because they're hungry, dirty faces. Uh, the, the, the stench is horrible. But as you walk into the city, these two scenarios cannot be any further apart. Streets are crowded, but not with crying and begging, but with revelry. Certain places you can hear music playing, some of it kind of slow, tavern-like, but many other sounds and sights and smells assault your senses. seems like there is an end of the world party going on as you all look around you see drunk people high people you see people just fornicating in public as you all enter town most of you draw some stares from some of the town folk whether it be male female some are lustful and others are a different kind of stare. The kind of stare that says, if I get them alone, I'm going to rob them blind and leave them in a the gutter. As you traverse your way through the city, you pass by a tavern, uh, some tables sitting outside even, and You see a man throw down a set of cards on the table, stand up, point a finger at the man across from him, and scream, You're cheating! 
That's a far fucking hand in a row. You gotta be cheating. The man across from him smiles, stands up, and in one smooth motion, Watt st sticks a dagger into his throat. Watches the man hit the ground, collects his money, and walks off. Do we see any sort of guards or anything, or is it just kind of anarchy? Roll me a perception. Yeah, you do see a guard. In fact, there's a couple of them sitting at a different table about uh, 20 feet away. Are they interested? They don't seem to be. They don't seem to barely look up. Uh, however, as the one man at the table <clears throat> looks up, he looks towards what just happened. And you can see the side of his face. It is bloody, blue, purple, black. And from this angle, it's a little hard to see, but you're pretty sure he's missing an eye. These people have lost hope, most of them. The other half are just waiting for the end to come, it seems. At this moment, you all feel the ground beneath you quake. You all can give me a deck save, please. You all hold your footing, although many of the people around you do not. Uh, many crash to the ground. Um, several of them don't even stop fornicating. They just continue. Almost like this is normal at this point for the ground to shake between, uh, beneath them. However, in the mess of people, um, there are, uh, as people try and stand up in this uh, extremely crowded area, you do hear a few shouts go out. No! As some of those that uh, have fallen down will never get up again. You can see a couple particularly. Uh, each one looks like he has several stab wounds in his torso. He's still alive, but he's fading very, very quickly. Uh, sorry, how close are we to this? About 20 feet away. You estimate he will be dead before you can get there. He's giving his last gurgles. Man, you are going dark tonight. All right. Oh, you ain't seen shit yet. Just wait. All right. In fact, I should give you guys a warning. Uh, some subjects might come up if they are uncomfortable, by all means. Uh, stand up and walk away for a few minutes because I'm not holding back tonight. Shit's getting like actually dark. Like underbelly of real world kind of dark. Alrighty then. And this upbeat good. festival music is not it right now. <laughs> Let me find something else. What else we got? Oh, you know what? This work. Yeah, Richter's just going to examine everything. He's just going to be on his toes, just going to be watching everything. I think that's a good idea, given that half these people want to cut our throats for what we've got on us. And half would do it just for grins. So, seeing what the town is like and what the camp is like outside... You also notice that in the town, there are 
takes you a moment to realize it, but you see just about no children. In fact, so far, you haven't seen any. However, there was lots out in the refugee camp. So seeing the scene around you, is there any particular place you uh, would like to visit? Something you want to look for? Anything in particular? Richter chimes up to the group and says, we should find our companions and get the hell out of here. Get back to business. Exactly. The sooner we can unalive him permanently, the better. Agreed. Where do you think they'll be? And I inquire to the group because we are looking for our companions. Well, they had resources. So I'm wondering if maybe they would be in a slightly less ravaged part of the town. Mm. Maybe that's too much to hope for. I can try to message them. Let me see if I have the proper spells. One moment. We have sending stones, remember? Ah, yes. We should try to contact them. Sending stone it is. Is where are you an adequate message? Or we're in town, where are you? <laughs> we are here, where are you? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Didn't we try to get in town so that they didn't know that we're here just yet? Potentially. Yes, we did. We definitely did. I don't quite remember. We, I think we're like six hours earlier than we said we're going to be there. We did it intentionally because we were a little suspicious. Oh, uh, right. there you go, there you go. We were sus as fuck. Okay. Where should we... Uh, okay, where? what do you think we should do next, then? Uh, what is the most likely location that we would find them? Like, center town, you know, north, a little posher area, if that exists. Like, where should we kind of head? You have already walked through the posh area. If this is how people are acting in the fancy area of town, for lack of a better term, you can only expect it's going to get worse in the poor neighborhood. I say we try and stay in the better neighborhoods. Yes. <clears throat> I agree. Does anybody have maybe a detect magic spell and maybe we would be able to find the other sending stone because it's magical? Let me check. We'd have to be within 30 or 60 feet of it, I think. Mm. I have detect... Thoughts. I do have detect magic. Yeah, I can ritually cast it as well. And what is the range? 30. So is that what y'all are doing? Walking around town? And I, I don't know. That's like that's like worst case, I guess, is trying to find the other sending stone, right? Oh, uh, so I <laughs> says the barbarian. <laughs> uh I would uh, Rector would know this the locate the locate spell right if you cast that you can find someone. Uh, yep. I don't have that spell, so maybe we try to find that spell if there could potentially be a place to buy it, which I think is a pretty slim pickings. But yeah, that'd be great if I had that spell. My only other thought is just to try to find a position to wait to look for them. But I'm not 
sure what else there would be. Uh, what direction would they be coming in potentially? So we could stand towards or like kind of scope out the area, like, you know, how they're funneling in. It's a good thought. I wonder how many gates there are in this area, or if it's just wide open and free for all. So you will remember that uh, when Tidst came back over the uh, Sending Stone and you said to meet him, uh, you were going to meet him in Zadash, he said, we are already past that. Oh, so maybe they're going more south from here. Maybe they just didn't stop. We said we're going to meet them in Zadash, though, and they're going to come back. They had passed here, but coming back. Because of us. So, to be clear, he did not say that. You assume that's what he's going to do. What he's actually doing well, is for you to find we're out. Well, we said meet them somewhere, and they said, that sounds great. No, he said, we'll see you soon. Those were his exact words. Uh, okay. That almost sounds like setting us up. Uh, yeah, that doesn't sound great. Richter suggests if we're looking for a point, it's like a, something to push in the right direction, he could ritually cast divination. Respectfully, sure. I'd say the first thing we do is get outside Zadash and then worry about trying to find them. Because if they're looking for us in Zadash and they have less than stellar motives, if they strike where we're not, then we're good. Now, the people that are here are screwed, but. Yeah, the only way we can help the people in Zadash is if we win this bloody war. Yeah. So retreat to the outskirts and see what happens after six hours? Like set up camp outside of the town somewhere? Kind oh, of like... covered? Yeah. Yeah. Look at it. Down like a clown. As you begin to retreat back towards the outskirts of town, you pass by. Uh, you guys want to drag yourselves in over here? I think you should be able to see the map, yeah? Yeah. Drag ourselves in where? Oh, I'm on the wrong layer. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry, Richard, I was trying to catch up to you. And I will drag Phoenix in. Actually, does somebody have access to Phoenix right now or no? I don't. I don't have access to anybody but me. I actually do have access. All right, you want to drag him out for me, please? As you guys start walking back, you notice a woman standing right here. Sorry, I didn't populate the map. I, I forgot to actually make this, this map until like minutes before the session, so it's not populated. And she seems to be staring towards this well. It is surrounded by other people. In fact, there's about three men there. There's about 12 women and six children. This is the first sign of children you've seen since you got into town. The woman standing here seems to be um, not necessarily scantily clad, but definitely looks like she worked the streets in a Probably not this neighborhood. But as she's watching what's going on at the well, she, she laughs to herself. 
Hypocritical pieces of shit. You seem preoccupied, miss. Can we help? Yeah. Well, I mean, you probably can't help. The end of the world, haven't you heard? But, uh, it's, it's funny, isn't it? As she continues to stare at the people around the well. How so? All those women standing around that well, they used to look down on me. Throw things at me. Call me names when I walk by them in the street. I was lower than the shit on the bottom of their shoes. Now look at them. At least I was getting money. They're just getting morsels of food. So I find it a little funny. And as she says, oh, here comes one now. And as you look, another man walks up. He hands uh, one of the men there two apples that he pulls out of a side, pa uh, side pack. As he does so, the man that he hands them to bites one. Cuts the other one in half. And the man that handed him the apples points out one of the little boys. The man takes half of the apple and hands it to the boy. And the man starts to walk off with the child. He cries as he bites into the apple and they head down into an alleyway. He takes the other half of the apple, hands it to one of the women sitting there who also begins to sob. How far away is he? Oh, the, the man who's walking away with the child is the one who took the apple as payment. The man is walking away. Um... I'm going to mention to the group, I'm going to say, are we getting out of here or are we dealing with any, any of this? And I'm going to mention, gesture over to that, say it looks like there's uh, some human trafficking. The woman next to you laughs. Oh, yes, of course. You do it when uh, when some child is in trouble, but nobody ever came to save me. And she turns to look at you, and you see the one side of her face. Her, her eye is milky white, and the entire side of her face is scorched, as if pressed to hot coals. Looks like everybody's a hypocrite. And she just turns and walks away. We would have done it for you, just like anyone else. And I'm going to look at the group kind of like I'm ready to intervene. Let's do it. Where are we? It's a dash. Uh, Richter will. <laughs> uh, before you before you go ahead, Richter, give me a moment. So Phoenix, uh, you guys are in Sadash. Um, the scene outside was of basically like a large refugee camp. Um, however, inside is a basically an end of the world party that. Player knowledge has been going on for about a week and a half. Um, fornication is this in this. Where we told everybody where to go, where to go, or is this where we are supposed to meet our friends? Well, that's or where helpers. you told them to go. Um, but in the middle of this, uh, this end of the world party, um, people are dying left and right. Uh, your group just witnessed a man pay for a child with two apples to take into a back alley. Um, this is the most wretched hive of scum and villainy that is left. Nice reference. Thank you. Word. 
Um, yeah. Wait. The, the scumbag's definitely not taking the child into the back alley. Yeah. We, Zero percent chance I'm allowing that. Yeah, me too. So Richter is gonna walk twenty five feet wait, forward. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Don't move. Before we go in there, can we do this like stealth wise? Because if we make too much of a ruckus, they're gonna people are gonna start to recognize us and know that we're here. And we don't wanna be about that. We wanna like uh you know, I think you and I have different agendas. I because Phoenix Phoenix yeah, he's is going. Richter's very clear clear that this step in. Fly. Richter's busy stepping in. Stop I'm your ass. I'm not saying we're not doing this. I'm just saying we can we do it stealth wise so we don't get noticed. We're trying not to get noticed here. Are we? So I think I don't I, I don't think I was at our last away. session, whatever that was. So last I mean I I haven't seen you guys since before we got our fucking items. <sighs> Richter's already gone in. So, uh, oh, and by the way, Phoenix, uh, there's pretty much people in almost every square on this place. It is, it is packed. Um, I just can't put that many people on the fucking map without it crashing. So, Richter pops in. Um, Richter, you are roughly about. I'm gonna say the dude is here. The child is in the next space over. And. Did I run over or Misty step over? Uh, well, you would have had to do part of uh, one of each because he, okay. he was like 80 feet away. So, and you kind of zipped over there. So, I'm guessing you raced through the crowd and then Misty stepped as yeah. soon as you could. I would still have my action then mm -hmm. if that's the case. And who is in this alley right now? So uh, there's there's a lot of people. Uh, there's there's several people uh, fucking against the walls of each of these buildings. There's people walking through the. There's people throwing up. Um, it's it's a scene. I, I'm gonna say just between you and say like this corner here. There's probably a good like forty people. Okay, my. I think you're on the wrong layer because you you pinged and nothing showed up. Uh no, I am on the token layer layer. Zoom out, maybe. My stuff's going really slow, so just give me a sec. The potato PC, it's not your fault. Oh, uh, that's crazy. Um, Are you running Chrome or Firefox? Chrome. I try Firefox, it takes less resources. I mean, yeah. like, after you do what you're doing. <laughs> um, I'm just going to go up to this individual... I'm within 60 feet of them now, and I'm going to cast Maze on them. Banish a creature you can see with a lot of damage you're playing. Target remains there for the duration until it escapes the maze. It's an action to attempt to escape. When it does so, C20 intel check. Okay. So this man Cre disappears, and the child leaps back. Still clutching his uh, what is left of his half an apple. Yeah, and I'm gonna move in just to try to, uh, at that same time, try to like, hey, be calm. We're gonna get you out of here. Just be calm for the moment. Okay. <laughs> and I'm gonna look back to the group and try to nonchalantly gesture to keep moving. Perhaps this way. I don't know if we want to keep going up through here or back through the center. Hey! You hear behind you. Yeah, I'm going to ignore that and just maybe walk down this way now to the group and give eyeballs to everyone. Like, let's go this way. Behind all of us or behind him and in front of me? Down at the well. Wait, you... Oh, wait, wait. The, the sound came from the well. I don't well. know where the well is, Timmy. Oh, there it is. So, so you were heading north to talk to the kid, right? And I said, behind you. So okay, yeah, that would that would be this way, my boy. All right, we're, I but I would want it. to walk in this way. Okay, in that case, give me a moment. Something else is happening.
ahead of you, right here, five people stop what they're doing in the alley. A drunk man no longer seems drunk. And as they step out in front of you, give me a perception. Everyone? I'm going to say Richter because he's the closest right now. Something off about them. The way their eyes are picking up the porch light. They seem to have a shine. Oh, they undead, boys. So I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm feeling very, very lost. Can somebody give me, like, a quick fill-in on what happened between, like, the vault, I can figure out how the fuck we got to there and got our shit, but, can, like, from the vault to okay. here? Okay, so, all, all that happened is, um, Richter realized he had a teleportation circle spell, um, so he teleported to, hold on, I'll show you on the big map. All right, so you guys were down here in New Haxon, right? The bottom right? That's where the... Uh... You're not pinging. Oh, for fuck's sakes. I was. I was just on the wrong layer. Um, down here, where the blue See? line ends. Yep. Shut up. All right. So he, teleport he used a teleportation circle to get you from there to this place here called Feld Felderwind, which is uh, a place Richter grew up nearby. Um, you found that there was pretty much nobody there. Uh, it was, the uh, the wood mill was rotten, moldy. Um, the, I think the most you guys found was, uh, was like decaying bodies and shit. Now from there, you guys walked over to Zadash because that is where you told, uh, the, your followers that you would meet them. However, normally it is, uh, Sakura who answers the um sending stone this time it was tidst spoonbreaker's follower and you guys told him to meet you at zadash and he said he was already past that you guys said meet us there and he said we'll see you soon Now you guys have then, wa walked over and to And then Sadash. we came here and it's fucked town. Yeah, yeah. It's uh basically the the this in, inside the city is like the uh is is basically just a end of the world party. Um the ground's been rumbling. Uh you guys on your way in did see basically a, a, a very, very large refugee camp um that basically circles the entirety of the city. Um people there are still killing and stealing from each other to survive. Uh, but it's not a party. It is survival. The interior, however, is a party. People are just partying until it literally kills them because what the fuck else are you going to do? Uh, and those who are in there, inside the city, trying to survive, well, they're doing... They're either partying or they're having less than... Um, they're using less moral means to survive. Awesome. Caught up? Yes, sir. Thank you. So, five people step out. One here, one here, one here, one here, and here. And Richter, you can see that the way their eyes catch the light and shine, it's it's weird. This is something you wouldn't see in any kind of humanoid. Or any kind of human goodly race, I guess I should say. I would like you to give me your choice of Arcana History. Or nature. Arcana. When, when this is happening, could I let off an action? 
as a reaction kind of not necessarily code word reaction but i after this situation's happening in this moment i see this could i cast an action possibly let me get through the description first okay the way their eyes shine you've read about this in books These some sort of devils. Yeah, so the second I realize that, would you allow me to cast greater invisibility on the child and tell him to run? Yes. I also know what demons can probably do if I've read up on them, but I want this kid out of here. You hear footsteps running back south. Um, however, next to you, the man pops back up. Uh, what, what was that? Hey, where'd that kid go? He's on your left, Shut Arthur. The fuck up, scumbag. And I, um, yeah, I just say that. And I'm moving backwards towards my group. So, where, sorry, where these guys are here with the, the devils. When you turn back around, some of them are. The, I, the the men, half of the men are gone, and one or two of the women. I'm going to say to the group around me, watch your back. There's demons here. We're surrounded. And as you shout that out. That checks out. Do it, everybody. Click your tokens, roll your initiatives. All right, dude, I'm a dumbass. I'm sorry. I don't think I clicked my token. Yeah, you did. It appeared. Never mind. So I'm a dumbass for thinking I didn't. My shit initiative streak continues. Uh, no, you broke that streak because you did get one yeah, good one last it. time that we played. That was like 800 years ago. September 2nd. 20 days ago. That was when you guys played. I wasn't there. Hence, by any <laughs> recap. Yeah, you know what? That makes sense. Yeah. Somebody else rolled good initiative for you then. All right. Oh, it was in that game. Yeah, that wasn't me. <laughs> All right. I need to move some shit around on my screens here. Uh, I don't know who was playing me last time, but I'm missing an amulet point. Should I just refill that? Like, are we at long rest, like, status yeah. right now? Um, yeah, I believe you guys have had a long rest because you had to walk from Sadash, so, and nothing's happened in that point, so, you, yeah. Okay, so I'll refill all my stuff, I'll refill my amulets and my two inspiration points uh -uh, no oh shout out my mistake sorry uh-huh ash with the high initiative roll just watch the whole shit show go down just ready to fight like god damn it yup i wanted to do stealth but nobody believed me they were stealing the child yeah, no, I, I believed you. So I, fast. I, I, I hate to tell you, Ash, so fast. but the second you got anywhere near the city, y'all were fucking made. Yeah, I figured. But, like... I listened because I didn't know the circumstances as to how we got here. You were like, we're doing stealth. And I was like, okay. 
I saw the pings going down, and I was like, oh, God, they're stealing the child. So, uh, because I didn't have time to, like, do this map up, um, please keep in mind that there are walls and such. So, just because something might be happening inside of a building, you don't see that. I did not have time to do the dynamic lighting and shit. Okay. Bro. It's been, like, a month. Also, Phoenix has x-ray vision. You're really hard to hear. No, not for me. That might just be on your end, my dude. You can turn him up manually. Do you have me turned up already, uh, Blair? Uh, let me check. I don't think so. Pretty sure I've actually got you lower than 100. You're at 87. Yeah, okay. I didn't think these headphones were low. I know I have issues with my other one sometimes because it's got like the, uh, like in front of the mouth microphone. So I don't always have it up. But this one doesn't have that. Oh, fuck me, really? Back to GM. Wabu, you, sir, are up as we start combat. Um, okay. Uh... I'm just going to move close to the party. Um, and then I'll bonus action Shalele, and then I'll just hold an action if anyone comes towards me. And that's my turn. Dulamine, you're up. As predicted, I'm going to start shooting. Uh, I'm going to aim for the northernmost guy. I'll just ping it. There you go. Sorry, which one? Uh, I didn't see that. I was scrolled out too far, or scrolled in too far. Oh, sorry. Here we go. All right. Uh, yes, that is a hit. And actually need to take off two balls. Yeah, take off the weapon type three because I shouldn't have to go to ambusher checked for the second shot. All right. And since he hasn't acted, I do get one more shot, as I recall. Indeed. And that is me. Okay. So as the shout goes out, uh, these creatures, both at the north here and to the south, their, their um, forms change and morph. These particular creatures sprout wings from their back, horns from their head. They smile in anticipation of the battle to come can see about three inch razors razor sharp teeth 
their smile grows very large, much like a Joker smile. Their nails grow out to six inch claws and their clothes morph into something of a um, something you'd expect to see at a, uh, a BDSM club. Sulamine, you take three shots at the first one just as she's finishing her morph. Her smile spreads, and then you put three arrows into her chest. We have... It's 33... Uh... And... Okay, okay, so 33... And three points of that damage should be there. Okay, and how much was poison versus acid? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, you want to describe what happens to this uh, first one as she hits the dirt? First round hits her belly. I'll walk the second two right above. and uh, She falls backwards with a surprised look on her face. Okay. As she falls, I step behind the building to my left, and that is me. Ash. Um, Ash is going to roll her eyes because she totally saw this coming, and then she's going to uh, run down here and hit this first one with something... Hard. Let's see. I bet she is, or he is. <laughs> 30 to hit. Uh huh. 32 bludgeoning and 22 radiant. Okay. And I guess I'm going to do it again. Uh, same one, I guess, if they're still up. Yup. 28, uh, 30, 28 to hit, 35 bludgeoning, and 16 radiant. Describe. Um, I'm going to take my uh, maul stick and like punch it in the stomach, and then it goes right through. Okay. Bonus action and movement. Or sorry, uh, you use most. Do you use all of your movement? Uh, I yeah. I, well, I have five left, but that's fine. I will leave it as is. And um, as a bonus action, mm, gonna rage because I can. Probably should have did that beforehand, but that's okay. All right. Chalk it up to a bit of rest. Yeah, exactly. Spoonbreaker, uh, you start to see the crowd um, rush away. I mean, there's still some people that are, you know, fucking in the streets. Because, you know, gotta get that nut. Um, but most of the people that are, are, are drinking and playing cards, most people actually start to leave the street and scream, realizing that there are actual devils among them. In fact, you hear several shouts of, They've come! They've come to take us! The end is nigh! What would you like to do? I'm gonna bunny hop.
And I'm going to send out. A twinned chromatic orb lightning at level four. All right, which two are you aiming for? Um, that one or that one? Sorry, did you say this one and this one? This one. All this right. One. Sorry, your your dice were over on the rolled across the screen. We're on top of it. Sure, that's a hit. Ow, fuck. Gonna roll the other one? Oh, shit. I'm sorry, dude. Twin means two, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, what type you... Oh. Oh, no. What type you making it? Lightning. So for the first one. What are you killing a peasant with with the second one? Oh, well, does the second one hit? The second one's a not one, my guy. So it doesn't hit. Does That's why hit. I said, what are you killing a peasant with? <laughs> Just a flickering orb of light that looks cool. Yeah. Well, you you hit uh, you hit one dude who's uh, you know on on top of some woman in the uh, the alley, and uh, he immediately starts to convulse as your uh, your bolt hits him. Uh, which since he's connected to somebody else, uh, also hits her. Uh, you watch as their skin bubbles and pops before they lie still. Uh, let's see, so 19 and 17. Roll me a perception. As you hit her with this, she kind of convulses for about half a second before... She chuckles and licks her lips. Little uh, arcs of lightning follow her tongue across her lips. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy you. It's going to be so yummy. <laughs> Bonus action? Uh, oh, no, you used your, your rabbit leap for bonus action, right? You got Correct, movement? sir. I still do have movement. All right, let's see in my turn. Okay, so let's see what these ones are going to do to you, Ash. Uh, let's see. Huh. Ash. This one here. Takes on a seductive pose. I'll let you imagine what it looks like. Oh god, okay. And she kind of like beckons you forward with one finger very slowly. Come here, darling. Uh, wisdom saving throw. Charmed on a fail. Uh, can you charm a, d a dwarf? I thought you couldn't. You are thinking uh, advantage for elves. Oh, okay. However, I don't know exactly who has uh, the ability to not be charmed from their armor, so. Oh, no, I think my staff has something on it. Hang on two seconds. 
I hope you updated your cheat sheet, Ash. Yeah, it just won't fucking load right now because Chrome is a bitch. Your cheat sheet on Chrome? Oh, you didn't Google document, didn't you? Oh, of course I did. Why I use Microsoft Word for this shit? <laughs> I don't have those issues. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to. Oh, this is so annoying. Okay, it's loaded. It's loaded. It's loaded! You should probably have that open when you start the game, just FYI. Yeah. Oh, yeah, apparently not me. Okay, so I'll roll for it. Music wisdom, right? Yep. Wisdom save. Damn, okay. Ash is on fire tonight. Ooh. He's smart. Well, when you just kind of cock your head and look at her, strangely, fine. If you will not come here, I'm going to punish you. I'll eat your fucking soul. And as a bonus action, she's going to use Dark Whispers. I need a Charisma saving throw, please. That is a fail. While frightened in this way, a creature must take the dash action and move away from the fiend by the safest possible route on each of its turns. Um, da -da -da. Unless there's nowhere to go, in which case it needn't take the dash action. If the creature end its turn in a location where it doesn't have line of sight to the fiend, then you can repeat the saving throw. The end of your turn. Yay. Uh, this one. 5, 10, 15, 25 is going to move over here. Maddening Bolt. Does a 26 hit you? Oh, yeah. Sure does. Okay, so this one. You take 18 psychic damage. Good old psychic. I need another wisdom saving throw. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Yep, that's it. You succeed. Okie dokie. This one starts to walk seductively towards you, Richter. Wisdom save. Against being charmed. Again, I can't remember who got immunity to charm, so it's going to be on you guys to remember, but I will tell you that this is definitely a charm. That. Okay. Uh, you succeed either way. Uh, she shouts something rather similar, and as a bonus action, she's going to use the Dark Whispers. So, Christmas save, or be frightened. That is a fail. I'm going to use a reaction on Convergent Future. One second. Um... Yeah, I'm going to use Convergent Future. Okay. I'm going to pass that. To your reaction to ignore the die roll and decide. Okay. All right. Uh, you gain one level of exhaustion, but I believe you have something that allows you to ignore the level of exhaustion for the first one, right? Okay. My first one could be ignored because of my three set now. Very well. Well, in that case... Seeing that you resist those. 
two of them are going to throw a maddening bolt at you. Um, 19. Yes. Okay. 20 psychic and a wisdom save throw, please. That is a fail. Uh, but it doesn't matter because you have nothing within melee range view. So, you just take 20 psychic damage. Okay. The last one up here also walks towards you seductively. Well, if you don't want her, maybe you'll want me. And she smiles, that big toothy grin. She's also going to try and charm you. Wisdom. Wisdom. Yep. That is a fail. Mm. I can't do shit. Yeah, she's going to point at... Sulamin, Phoenix, and Spoonbreaker and say, Don't let them hurt me. Please, you must kill them first. And you suddenly have an urge to attack uh, those three creatures behind you. Will you let me take back what I said? What? There is something I can do. What do you got? Uh, you know what? It's such a hard decision to make. Uh... No, I will fail it. It's fine. No, oh, what is it? What is it? I have an inspiration point, but... Okay, well then burn it. It's a little early to burn it now. That's it's what I'm, never that's what I'm too feeling. early. Okay, fuck it. Inspiration point. I gotta do damage to these bitches. Alright. Twist my rubber arm. Well, uh... Hold on. Brighton? Give me a sec here. Okay. And you have... So you are not frightened or charmed then, correct? That's correct. All right. Just checking. Uh, in that case, she is also going to try to frighten you, then. With Dark Whispers as a bonus action. Rizma save. Um, Richter has not shared information on these creatures with you at all, Spoonbreaker. Uh, on your turn, however, you could uh, try and figure it out for yourself. That is a success. I did yell that there's devils around, but I don't oh, know if they took that literally. Okay, yeah. yeah I okay. did say that. The door opens. Uh, Wabu, you can hear yeah, it. I did uh, say that. Yes, the answer is yes. Wabu, give me a perception. See if you can hear the door open behind you through the uh, the people running and screaming. Yep, you hear it. All right, Wabu. Probably a silly thing to do, but wisdom save, please. Yep. Uh, we will do a... Oh, he doesn't have the Frighten like the Succubus. All right, so he has no bonus action. Uh, you might as well just give me two more wisdom saves, because they're all, all of these Incubus are going to try to uh, charm you. Success and success. These three um, 
males step out. Uh, their forearms to fingertips are uh, are black, as well as their knees down to their feet. Um, shirtless and with not much more than a loincloth on, they have wings sprouting from the back and horns as well. And the same kind of teeth uh, as the succubus, which you haven't seen yet, but you heard the description. Um, each one of them kind of, uh, tries to allure you seductively, um, but maybe it's just with how, um, daft you can be, not picking up on the signals, it, it, it has no effect. Phoenix, you are up. Phoenix is going to... Sorry, excuse me. Uh, move up to here. And I'm going to look and see if this is even on my attacks. I don't think it is. Uh, I think I've added everything in. What is it? Oh, yeah. Uh, hang on, let me make sure I open it up. Yeah. I'm gonna fucking... Eh. Uh, does it say how wide or how far the cone is? Oh, 30 foot cone, there it is. Okay. It would be from you. Okay, so all four of them. Dex 20. Uh, fail, success, success, success. So the one closest to you um, eats that. And it's fire? Yeah. Hmm. Give me a perception. Uh, just one sec. Ba -ba -ba. So it's half damage on a fail. Mm hmm. Uh, da, 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 da. so does that mean they're all on fire though? If they're taking half damage, for their... give me, give me, give me that perception. Fair. This had very little effect. Had an effect, but it was very Poo. little. So what is a quarter of thirty-four now? Uh, eight. Uh, yes, eight. Bonus action? How is yeah. this combat oh, music? On. There we go, that's better. I just wanted to make sure I knocked off my charges. Uh, bonus action. I'm going to run up on this guy. Twenty-two and thirty. Uh, can you post your flurry of blows, please? It says after taking the attack action. Okay, just any attack doesn't specify. Yeah, I'm looking forward to post it, but I literally just read it to double check. Okay. I'll allow it because technically that's not a spell. It's uh part of your items, so 
25 bludgeoning plus threes, 28. And four is 32. Uh, you want to describe it? Both of those hit? Yep. Dope. Yeah, so I'll run up, I'll blast my fucking fire, and then uh, I continue like running, and I'll jump, bounce off of this wall, and do a spinning kick, uh, back kick, like wrap around with uh, the back of my back foot, and slap them across the her sorry across the face. And then come around with my front front kick and kind of drop down my heel into her neck, snapping her neck. Okay. Um, I did realize something. I'm going to allow you to keep that, but uh, take the attack action. So it would still have to be a melee or a ranged normally. Um, because basically that would be the same as using an item, uh, for, for it to be an attack, it would have to, you, you rolling to do the, da or not the damage, the, the attack. That is technically a save. So let's say you so, have fireball. It wouldn't work with fireball. Your flurry of blows. Okay. So like the way I read it, cause it says for the, uh, whatever my, uh, thing that I used was, sorry, my brain's fried from work. It said using an attack action. Yes, but blah but, blah 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 blah, yeah, and then you said immediately thing? after you take the attack action. So that's just that's where my head saw it. No, that that that's fair. That's totally fair. Um, but yeah, because it's you're not rolling to hit; it's them rolling to dodge. It would technically not be classed as the attack action. I'll let you keep that one though, because I mean, you did a good job explaining it. Uh, you know, explaining the the kill and shit. So. Okay, but from now on, I can't pair those anymore? No, no. That, okay. that, that's kind of more of like, you you can't get to there, so I'm gonna fucking throw some fire at you instead kind of thing. Okay, fair enough. Uh, is that your full movement? Uh, it's not my full movement, but that's where I'm gonna land, and that's where okay. I'm gonna stay. Richter. Um, <clears throat> Richter's going to see that go down and as some blows are landing, he's going to move to the side position himself kind of stick his hand up in the air and cast a dirty level 9 lightning bolt okay 5 feet wide and I take it going for the these two, right? Okay. Yeah, these two right here, uh, trying to miss Phoenix and going for those two. And I assume your spell save is not actually 17, yeah? No, it's way higher than that. That's yeah, that's what I thought. They fail. Yeah. Oh. oh, did that cast my extra radiant damage? I don't think it did. Mm. I selected it. What level did you cast that? I should have cast an extra 3d6. Level 9. Oh. So, okay, so that's... So, that's level 3. So, no, it did not. Roll it. Oh, Jesus. Huh. So, that's 40, 57, and 4 is 61. Cut in half. That's sad. That was a sad roll. Uh, after Richter does that, he's going to bonus action Crown of Stars and pop seven nodes of Crown of Stars around his head. And uh, I mean, that is an action, sir. Oh shit! You're totally right. It is. It's, I'm I, just gonna... I think it was a bonus action to throw them, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it is. I just thought about it wrong. Usually, I cast it first. I am going to instead just do a, another misty step and just get the fuck out of there. So I'm going to run backwards with the rest of my movement speed and then misty step further, and that would be the end of the turn. 
Very well. I'm just going to measure out what I'm going to do here. So I already used five. I'm going to run back 20 and then Misty step 30. As you uh, get to here, you can see that there are three more winged creatures um, floating in the air, uh, only a couple feet off the ground, but are trying to put the moves on Wabu, and Wabu just ain't catching the drift. Uh, you also see Ash. Uh, seems to be like she's getting ready to bolt away from uh, the one of the creatures down here. Is that As it I for miss you? you step back and look around, I'm just going to yell out, we got company, just to just make sure, try to make everyone aware of the fact that there's more people, and that would be Richter's turn. Okay. Uh, this is going to be fun. Suddenly, Richter, as you take a look around, and Ash, you both see a massive a uh, frog-like hand reach up from this well and place its um uh its toes i guess on one side of the well and then the other and it pushes up and that block up although he seems to only be dressed in um some cloth robes this creature is quite large the biggest grung-like creature you've ever seen. However, his eyes glow uh, a green and red. And as he steps out, all of you, I believe you're all within 120 feet, right? Yep, everybody's within 120 feet. You all here in your minds. That was not okay. You have interrupted my soul gathering. And as he pulls himself the rest of the way out of the well, uh, he is going to... I would like to know why the um, frog sounds like Deckard King. That's the fucking voice I gave him. That's why. I don't know what to tell you, man. I've only got so many voices in my damn repertoire. It really gets me. Oh. I like oh. this voice. Okay. Stay a while and listen. He pops out and lands, um, standing about uh, 12 feet tall. He looks down at you, Richter. I need a wisdom saving throw. Yeah, that's, that's a hard no, my guy. Okay, 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 okay. Bear with me. So the spell I used earlier, Chronal uh -huh. Shift, if you read it, it's not a reaction. Never mind. It is a reaction. You didn't use Chronal Shift. You now. used... Um... That's right. I used Conversion Future, which uh -huh. is not a reaction. Okay. So I'm going to use Chronal Shift because I technically haven't used my reaction yet. Well, your turn just happened anyway, so you, it would be back up either way. Because you get your reaction back at the start of your turn. So, True. I'm yeah. going to use conversion. No, I'm going to use chronal shift to re-roll that. Sure. Okay. That's better. 
It is not polite to resist something when it is given to you, even if it is forced upon you. Mammoth would really like your soul. Does he have bonus action? I'm quite fond of my soul. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Okay. Uh, Erector. I need a perception, please. You hear? Uh, no, sorry, you don't hear. However, you're going to see him anyways. I guess it doesn't matter. Three more enemies have entered the field. Hey, Richter. Yeah. One of them bends over, lifts up his loincloth, and shakes it at you. Another one. Well, let's That's let's true. let's start with the first one. Give me a wisdom save. That that ass looks yummy, doesn't it, Richter? I hope not. It does. It does. Hello. So, as he stands back Hello, up, Ray. turns around, says, That, that bunny looks, looks like it could use some cooking, doesn't it? As he points at Spoonbreaker. You should cook him. You have magic, right? It'll make it quick. Uh, these two? Oops, I skipped a Wabu. I haven't done the other two yet. Uh. Oh, wow. They actually have no other. Okay. That's wild. Actually, yeah, no, we'll, we'll leave that order in charge. Uh, the other two are just going to finish the rest of the movement because they have flight speed, and they'll end there. Oops, Wabu, you're up. Wabu's just going to move here. Which, uh, which, I guess I can't see that because it's not a line. It just happens, right? Um, I, I, I don't know because I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh when when the Richter got charmed, I wouldn't be able to see the one that charmed them, correct? Like that that that's how the interaction happened? Yeah. Yeah. Um I'll just cast entangled in like this area to see if I can get all three in it. But before probably... you do that, I'm going to warn you they are floating above the ground. They all have wings that none of them are actually okay. touching the ground. That's how they moved so far as they, they are flying. They're only a few short feet above the ground, but your entangle will not have an effect on, on these creatures that are already in the air. Okay. Um, 
Got it. So then I will just hold an action to hit anybody with the staff if they come near me. Okay. Shulamine. I'm going to fire up into the alley. Um, of these three, I think the Richter got this one, the one at the bottom, the southernmost, and the northwest one. Is that correct? Uh, just by looking, you can definitely tell that this one and this one are are leaking. The yeah, other one's I'm barely gonna, touched. I'm going to shoot <clears> the <throat> southernmost if it, one. If it makes a difference, uh, Phoenix seems totally in control of the alley situation. Um, so I'm looking for a way to gain distance, and I'm trying to go through that. But yeah, I think you've totally got the alley situation. I'm just trying to get them out of the way so I can move through the alleyway and gain distance between me and the other enemies. You are welcome to try. Well, I don't do well in melee. Just make sure all my stuff is well. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use Hunter's Mark and take my first shot. Sure. I take it the one next to Phoenix first. Yes, sir. All right. Hit. Still up. Mm, yes. Sorry, I'm hitting the wrong buttons. Yes, it is still up. There's my second shot. You want to describe that? Uh, sorry, I, uh, the one beside me, you would have had sneak on if you wanted to use it. That's true. Thank you. Uh, roll me D20, see if you crit. Okay. No. Oh, I get what he was saying. Uh, yeah, yeah. For the added roll, damage, roll, roll you may not have to burn the second shot on him. Yeah, roll, roll your sneak yeah. attack. Just hit the uh, sneak attack button. Holy shit! No, it was still up. Damn, I tried. <laughs> hey, I appreciate you, man. You're thinking I'm not. Uh, okay, so that is me, and I will move north. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that is me because I use my bonus action to add Hunter's Mark. Okay. Ash, uh, let me refresh exactly what you had to do. Uh, let's see. While frightened in this way, creature must take its dash action to dash... Uh, must take the dash action and move away from the f uh, fiend by the fastest available route on each of its turns. So Wait. you, uh, what? What's your speed? Uh, slow AF. Well, you gonna you gonna run, then you gonna dash away from this creature. Uh, okay. Um. Does it prevent me? Does it prevent me from doing any actions after I'm done dashing? I Your guess I dash is an action, so you need to run and then you need to dash. Yeah. Okay. The only thing you can do is, uh, to, to, if the creature ends its turn in a location where it doesn't have line of sight on the fiend, the creature can repeat the saving throw. You cannot go in that direction. You are getting closer to the creature if you go that direction. Basically, you got your your only uh, uh, avenue away is north. All right, I guess I'm gonna go join Phoenix. Okie dokie, that's my dash. Spoon. 
Oh, at the end of Ash's turn, actually. How far does that read? Okay, so it can hop. You can use legendary action. And it can move. Okay. Okay, so the uh, strange creature leaps to here. Spoonbreaker, yep. Yeah. Um. Alright, it's a spoon breaker. Hold on, let me check something real quick. Yeah. Spoon breaker is going to cast a oh wait, there's a bunch of people around us still, huh? Uh it's starting to empty out, but there are still some people roughly in the vicinity. Tell me what you want to do, and I'll I'll let you know if you can do it without murdering a bunch of civvies. I'm 100% positive using fireballs is going to kill a bunch of civvies. <laughs> you might catch one or two. Uh, I mean, like I said, there was still a couple that were still fornicating in the alley, a few of them, but you, you already killed two of them. I mean, you know, in for a penny, in for a pound, I guess. Yeah, like for the greater good, right, boys? <laughs> Something like that. They were going to die anyway, and the world ended. You know, actually, what I could do, I'm going to cast... No, I'm, I'm a liar. I'm not going to do that yet. I'm, yeah, I'm going to cast Fireball. All right, we're at... Let's see the radius. 20 foot, okay. Uh, like I said, when you, you, you go to measure out, just go left and right. Uh, I might actually cancel that and just use a chain lightning. All right. Who's your first target? Um, I think I want to start with this guy and then have it chained down. I'm going to ask you to read that spell again. Second sentence. Oh, the first target. Cool, cool. All right, then. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna send a fucking lightning bolt at. <laughs> just this homie. Just right. There you go. And one him. Okay. Uh fail, 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 fail. Alright. Give me a perception. As you shoot this bolt of lightning, it hits the first one and arcs out. The three in this area start to convulse violently. Um, blood starts to spurt from their mouth uh, as they begin to bite off their own tongues in the convulsions. Uh, their skin starts to scorch and bubble. And um, little tendrils of... of um, Burnt scars start to stretch across their bodies, mimicking veins. And he... I can't believe he failed that. Hit roll. Um, yep, yeah, okay. Uh, he also convulses for a moment. You'll be the first one I swallow. Anything else? Mm, I'm in Yeah, that's the end of my turn. Okay. Right. As a legendary action. He leaps again. Uh, just to the other side of Richter. Uh, which ones it is? Okay, cool, cool. Seeing Wabu um, moving, but not really a whole lot else. They, and seeing the, uh, knowing what the Incubus was doing. Realize he's probably not exactly the best target to charm. So instead... They release some maddening bolts. I think both miss. What's your AC? Sorry, is that that was at me? Yep. Uh, twenty-three. Yep, they miss. One's up here. Oh, let's see. Wabu, or sorry, not Wabu. Uh, Phoenix and Sulamine. I both. I need both of you to give me, give me a wisdom saving throw, because they ain't got much else to do. This is for charming. Uh huh. Uh, yeah, Phoenix. 
Uh, as he kind of, as one of them kind of squeezes her titties at you um, and beckons you forth, you like to respond since you are not affected? Phoenix will just kind of chuckle and be like, you're not my type, sweetheart. Try again. Darling, I'm everyone's type. You don't have nearly enough fur for me. <laughs> Sulamine. Are you uh are you one of the ones that are immune to charm or no? I get advantage on charm rolls. I can't be put to sleep. Your suit didn't give you anything? Or your uh your set? That's a good question. Oh, uh, let me look. Sorry. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. All right. And she says, Why, wow, you're so handsome. Am I pretty? More oh, just so. <laughs> Wait, I have something for this. I have something for this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry, just a second. I'll allow the wait this time, but again, once the once it's been described from now on. I might actually be full of shit. Wouldn't surprise me. I mean, it's kind of a regular basis thing, honestly. <laughs> oh, it's full of shit. Yeah, no, I'm full of shit. It was for if I fail a saving throw. Oh, to burn sorcery check. points, right? Yeah, the magical guidance. I thought it yeah. was for, for allies. Nope, sorry, bro, you're fucked. Appreciate the try. She says... This... This cat person hurt my friend's feelings. You should kill him for that. And oh, she points at, at uh, Phoenix. Which one's pointing? Got it. Uh, having been extremely hurt... Uh, spoon break went around the corner, but there is unfortunately one ally still in the vicinity. Probably gonna fucking just bounce off your shell, but let's try it anyways. Oh, one of them definitely doesn't. You said your AC is 23, right? Yep. Uh, one of them was a crit, it's the only one that hits. Uh, as these things rush in and you're kind of like running away, they, they claw and they hit your shell and uh, your shell gets a scratch on it, but you barely feel it. However, the other one comes around and swings around the front and slices uh, into your, your underbelly. Uh, you take 12 slashing damage. Phoenix. Uh. Phoenix is going to, I'm assuming, take an attack of opportunity from Sulamine as he approaches. Mm -hmm. Sorry, bro. Uh, you've got your bow out, so it... Uh... Advantage. What? Advantage? Isn't disadvantage, isn't it, with the bow out? Uh, yes, yes. I thought you said advantage. I was like, I mean... It oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> disadvantage, yes. Or, yes, disadvantage. 
<laughs> Does a 33 hit you, Phoenix? No. Bullshit. <laughs> yeah, it does. So, 20 piercing. Uh, Looks like 6 poison, which I think you're immune to poison, are you not? Uh, Two of not there, because it's got Iron's Mark. Sorry. I think so. The only thing I saw was Radiant. I mean, as a monk, are you not? Ah, right, yes. My bad. Is it poison <laughs> damage, or just poison, or, or is it... Uh, I mean, the poison and disease. Okay. All right. Uh, so you don't take the full 16. Uh, you take 10, though. That's acid. So 20 piercing, 10 acid. Uh, yeah, don't have Hunter's Mark on you. So just the uh, 30. All As right. he moves forward, he looks back and he goes, I'll forgive that one, Sulamine. She told me to. And then he's going to unload on uh, this bitch. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, uh, you want to describe it after that second one? I figured that was going to do it. Uh, Phoenix is going to run up and uh, he jumps and uh, kind of turns like a double sidekick. So the first one is the lower foot into the stomach, and the second one uh, snaps up and hits her under the jaw, smashing her jaw and breaking her neck. All right. She falls to the ground dead. And then he will land and roll. So I'll give myself an extra little bit of movement there because it's not really going to matter. And then he will run at this one for his uh, flurry of blows. Sure. Uh, you already rolled a, uh, one of your flurry of blows, which was a crit. Uh, no, that was my extra attack. Oh, sorry. Uh, 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 yep, okay. Um, yep, they both hit. All right, She's still kicking? Um, figuring that out one sec. No. Go ahead. Describe. Uh, so I'll run up on this one. Uh, sweep the leg. So I kind of, you know, run in, slide, sweep her leg with the first attack. And then uh, roll over and downward punch straight to the sternum. Shatter her chest. Okay. And hits the ground. Uh, so I went 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Uh, and standing up will be the last of my movement. Okay. Uh, Sulamine, your, uh, your charm breaks and you realize you just put an arrow into phoenix's back um wabu that is a hit give me your damage <laughs> what the fuck yep yeah you want to describe this as he only had eight hit points left no you're good you got this all right so this one rushes up and he digs his claws into you and in response you spin you slam your uh your staff directly into his skull, expecting it just to be, uh, you know, a really hard bonk. You you collapse the center of his skull, and his two horns kind of fold inwards with it. Um, brain matter kind of squeezes out the the front and back and around the end of your staff before he collapses to the ground. And at the end of that turn, he is going to use his last uh, legendary action for this round. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Sorry. 5, 10, 15, 20, 5, 30. Richter, you have your orders, sir. 
cook the rabbit with uh, a fire spell. Absolutely. Uh, where are you? Oh, huh. convenient. Um, yeah, well, fireball. Director raises his hand and casts the fireball. So you uh, realize that doing this, however, like you are aiming for the rabbit because that was your order. You you can't try to not get your your friends with it because at the moment they are not your friends. Yeah. He's cast a fireball. Okay. He's cast a fireball. Sulamine, uh, Ash, Spoonbreaker, Dexterity saves, please. No advantage or disadvantage, sorry. So, Sulamine, half of that fire damage. Ash, full nope. amount. Spoonbreaker, full amount. Nope. Oh, right. Evasion. Half damage for you. Yeah. Or with no damage. No damage. Uh, okay. I think I just uh, threw something in the turn order on accident. I did. There we go. Is, does Richter have any extra chances mm -hmm. to continue saving, or is he... I'm rolling it. Can I roll a d4 for lucky footwork? Um, oh, wait, no, it doesn't even matter. Oh, yeah, his, his DC is 24. Yeah. Um, yeah, does the frog guy have to roll? Yeah, he's rolling, he's rolling. Oh, that's a fail. Jesus Christ. Oh. <laughs> As this fireball streaks in, he watches it come, and he does not even try to get out of the way. He seems completely and utterly unaffected. <laughs> Richter laughs as he enjoys the fireball. Um, I, yeah, what else happens now? Does, is Richter fully charmed? Is he can, can he continue taking saving throws or uh, targets his deal? Target suffers any harm, receives a suicidal command and can repeat the saving throw and the effect on a success. The target successfully saves against the effect, uh, ends and means to that fiend's charm for 24 hours. Fiend can only have one. No, you are charmed for one day. The only way to get out of it is for that particular one to go oh, bye-bye. Yeah. Uh, well, that will end Richter's turn then. Okay. This one looks at... Uh... Realizing that you are attacking the bunny, he's not going to attack the bunny. In fact, he's going to do... Oh. You know what? Uh, Sulamine, Spoonbreaker... You guys can give me Perception. You said Perception? Uh-huh. I think I passed. You notice that this creature's wounds actually begin to seal up. Begin to seal up, you say. Yep. Oh, I didn't notice this ability. He would not have gotten this close. Oh, well. He's going to do it anyway. Hey, Sue, I mean, what's your AC? 27. Perfect. You take 17 bludgeoning damage. 
This thing's tongue shoots out and slams you into the face. It feels like you got hit by a brick. Anything but the face. And as he does that, as it hits your face, you feel your face stick to this tongue, and he pulls you towards him. Uh, you can't get much closer, but he does pull you down to the ground. You are prone, sir. Got it. And as... Is this that? No, that, uh, no, it's not because of his size. Okay. Um, as you lay before him at his feet, next two attacks are at, turn on advantage real quick. Oh, fuck. Uh, are you're immune to poison, right? Nope. You're not? Nope. I don't think so. Don't you have the the prophet amulet like I do? No, nope. very apt. Or proof against poison? Yeah. Not me. Oh. I did have that, but I think it was stolen by Sastam. Ah. Well. First attack is a 27 to hit. You take 18 bludgeoning as he wraps his mouth around your arm and takes a chunk. You feel him bite down and the teeth drag up your arm, uh, dealing bludgeoning and poison damage, 18 and 14. He lifts up, smacks his, his lips. Mm -mm. Been a while since I've had elf flesh. And he goes for another bite. This one is a 32 to hit. You take 21 bludgeoning and 13 poison. The weird frogman's voice changed. Is he possessed? What? When, you know what? I'm just fucking just roll with it, okay? God damn. Never. I want to see you I... DM and do voices, Rob. That's what I want to see. Troll first. Roll with it later. <laughs> Okay, well, let's see. This one is going to stay out of the battle since he has you charmed. He's going to look. These two are going to look. How close to 30 feet? Okay. Hey, uh, Spoonbreaker. Give me that wisdom save, baby girl. Yeah, that's a fail. Do me a favor, will you? That one who's trying to roast you Maybe you should roast. Uh, you you should uh, bring him to his knees, preferably by way of pain. You sir are now charmed for one day, and he's pointing at Richter. Did Phoenix see who said that? Give me a perception. I'm going to say you did not hear what was even said over the um, over the din of the battle and the, the screams of people still running from the area. Cool. Uh, but he has some more movement. Now that he has uh, charmed you, he's going to disappear. Uh, let's see. He moved from here. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So another 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25. This one. Hmm. Is going to fly down at Wabu. Uh, 
Uh, I believe you said your AC is 23, so that is not a hit. And Wabu, it is your turn. Um, okay. Um, I can't see him right now, right? No, you cannot. Okay. Um... Yeah, fuck it. I'm just going to move to here. Take your swings. All righty. Nope, but nope. Uh, okay, oh, can sorry. I see him one now? More. Yeah, yeah, third one. No, oh, that's a big nope. Okay, can I see him now? Yes. Okay. Uh, let me know if this is something I can do because I've never used it before. I don't I think I understand it. Target takes 40. So must make intelligent saving throw. Well, 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 well. That is definitely something you can try to do. Is that the proper spell save DC? Um, yeah, mine says 25, so. He rolls a 32. Okay. Um, that's my turn. At the end of your turn, he's going to take a legendary action. Which, where are they? Okay. Back on two. All right. Oh, damn. Sulamin, as he goes to bite you again with legendary action, uh, reeling from the pain, you see him come in for another bite. Hmm. More elf flesh. And he rolled to the side. Uh, he misses you. And it is now your turn. So he is not in contact with me right now? He is not. No. Can I use my once a day greater invisibility? Use half my movement, which would be 15. I've got 35 movement. Is that right? Or is it 20? Uh, we'll go with 20. Oops, okay. that is the wrong character sheet that I rolled the perception. So a... Four plus. As, as you vanish, uh, he he suddenly starts looking around and can't figure out where you've gone. I'm going to move three. That's my movement. I'm going to fire at him twice. Not moving. Hunter's mark is. I need my bonus action in a second. And you said greater invisibility, right? So you're, you're, it doesn't break when you shoot, correct? Uh, it doesn't matter if it does. I was just trying to get away from the um, opportunity attack and the possibility of a grapple. Oh, it, it, it definitely matters, because first off, you might have rolled two attacks, but that was your advantage from being invisible. So that's why I want to know if it, uh, if it doesn't see. break then, and you're and still invisible, you get to make more rolls at advantage, so... Um, with you, let me post it. Pretty sure you don't, uh, you don't break invisibility. Yeah, when you, you attack. You pass greater, you, you keep it. Yeah, you keep it. Concentration one minute. All right. Uh, yeah, that is a hit. I would like you. Perception. Uh, we don't nat ones on skill checks, so 17. Uh, yeah, it looks like he's untouched by your poison. Uh, however, the arrow still hits, does damage, and so does the acid. So, um, we'll take your second, or your, yeah, your second roll. 
Um, 30, oh, 32 damage plus 9 oh, okay. is 41. Never mind then. Uh, that is a hit. 28 and 9 is 37. 37. Uh, both of your arrows suddenly become invisible in midair and slam into him. Got it, and I'm going to use my bonus action, or my cunning action, to dash. Okay. That is a, uh, uh, but it's only about five feet. Okay. That wall. It... So just no, no. I'm just warning you that you know if it, it is a wall, though you can possibly get cover, but it may not be as good a cover as you were after. Is all I'm saying. Ah, oh, got it. If, got they, it. if, if that head... was the reason you went that way, my head will stick up. It's not the most coveriest cover. Exactly. Right. I want to move over two more because I think the building is covering his cover, but it may not be. Oh no, he, he can't see you through the building. Then, then I'm gonna stop there. I'm good. Okay, that's a much more cover recover. Okay, so as a bonus action, I'm going to activate all my auras. So, let me grab those. Hey, Ash. Uh huh. Run and dash. Yeah, but I want to do my bonus action first. I can still do bonus actions, right? Let me reread it. Creature must take dash action, move away from the fiend by the safest available route on each of its turns. Unless there is no nowhere to move, in which case you need to take the dash action. The creature ends its turn in a location doesn't have a line of sight. Um, it specifies that you like you have to keep moving. Okay. So once you, you know, once you can't get any further, I would say, yeah, probably. But your first and foremost is running. Okay, hang on. Oh, he leaves to go to the bathroom when he's up next. What a guy. Uh, okay. I lost sight of sight line with said creature. Yes, you did. You get to reroll the saving throw at the end of your turn. So, okay, can I use my bonus actions then? Yep. Okay, I'm still going to activate my aura and at least give myself and uh, this is Sulamine with me, right? Or is that Richter? Can't, not zoomed in. That is Sulamine. Yeah, okay. I can't really tell because I'm not zoomed in enough. Um, uh, 15 temporary hit points. Oh, thank you. And reroll that wisdom. Did you guys get up there? Did I miss something? I'm just going to have a second. Well, she ran because of a spell and I ran because I'm a chicken. Them all. Holy fuck, what is happening right now? I I'm thought you were charmed. Storm aura. No, I'm re-rolling that. So, wisdom? Yep. 25? You are no longer feared. Yay me. Bunny's turn. Is Bunny here? He got up to go to the bathroom. The bunny takes a shit where he is. Is shooting an action or a bonus action? 
depends on whether or not you're wearing pants or stopping, you know? Fair point, you, fair point. The you're, just, you're just fucking shitting as you go. It could be even considered a free action. <laughs> if you're you pantsless, to... just shitting in the wind while you fight. You've got the runs, guys. I like to take a free action. <laughs> I mean, it's, I it could be a pants. reaction if you're shitting, like, because you're scared. There you go. There you go. But if you're just shitting as part of your turn on the fly, I'd say free action if you're, like I said, if you're shirt cocking it. <laughs> I've often said, if you don't specify that you took a shit, how am I supposed to know? Constitution saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> What we call it when my kid is running around just shirt and diaper. We refer to it. We refer to it as he's shit co- shirt cocking it. It's just, just poo barren. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so generally, the end of the day, if he needs a diaper change, we don't bother putting pants back on him. So he's just running around the house in a shirt and diaper. That's that's living. Yeah. While we're waiting for Spoonbreaker, actually, I'll send a fucking video. This is uh, what happens when Grandma babysits. Nice. Yeah, this is my mother. Uh, oh, you share my pictures wife's... of your mom, bro? <laughs> no. <laughs> my oh. my wife's mom uh, babysits all the time, so. That would have been so fun as a kid. Yeah, I was at work and this video popped up and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> And his grandma let him get by with everything that you couldn't get by with? Uh, I mean, I feel like that's part of grandma's job is to let shit go. Isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I'm fine with it. I don't, honestly, I don't give a rat's ass. Like, we've already told both grandmas, but my wife's mom, she's like basically full time daycare. So she doesn't, like, it doesn't, it almost doesn't count as a grandma thing. But when my mom, mom, mom is there, there's basically like, as far as we're concerned, no rules. As long as he's safe, you know, and you're taking care of him, and I'm not, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> All right, so yeah. um, he's probably taking a shit, and we'll just come back to him attacking Richter when he gets back. Until then, uh, these ones are going to fly this way. And drop shit at Wabu. You know what? One of them is going to drop some shit at Wabu. First one is going to go. Wendelee's, Cloven knees, dirty knees, look at these, and pop her titties out. Gwendolyn and Clovis Concord, obviously, being. You know, separate entities. Uh, she tries to charm you, Wabu. Wisdom save. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> really? Oh, that was good. Um, yeah, the other one is uh, getting annoyed with uh, so many people just walking through this shit, and she's going to send... A little maddening bolt. Wabu, your AC is 23, I believe you said. So that is 15 psychic damage. And a yep. wisdom saving throw, please. Uh, 
That is a fail. Uh, it doesn't matter because no, nobody's within five feet of you anyway. So forget that. And those ones are all dead. Oh, we didn't roll my damage, by the way, to the thing. It's not much, but the 46 is before the pass or fail part. Or what? Feeble mind. Fine. Oh, uh, yeah. I thought he didn't take damage unless he failed, but uh, apparently he does. So go ahead. Oh, whole I, last I, twelve. Never mind. I remember why I didn't have you roll it. Um. Yeah, as uh, not only did it obviously not take hold, but uh, it just kind of stares at you and smiles. I was born of this. You think you can hurt me with that? Feeble little creature. Oh my god, Spoonbreaker. Yeah, I'm back now. Are you? You left 10 seconds before your fucking turn, man. Yeah, bro, I wasn't gonna make it, dude. Also, <laughs> we, we're way over the halfway point where we normally take like a 10 minute break, dude. Uh, we're in the middle of combat. Take a shot at Richter. Uh... Man, you need to get your shit together. <laughs> and I didn't, I didn't mean that, but, uh, you know, that's the way it came out. Uh, I what I meant was, I was trying to close. The get yourself a ship. That bucket. was not the attack, by the way. Um, I guess I'll just hit you at the level three chromatic orb. You could try. Probably did. Yeah, that actually did hit me. Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. It's not like I want to do this. It's okay. It helps. Uh, let me see. You were charmed by a, an incubus. Uh, charm target obeys verbal teleback commands. Target suffers any harm, so roll your wisdom save. That's a shame. Uh, now, can I use my reaction? Uh, I believe you still have one. Yeah, I, I, because I used my last turn, haven't used one since, so I will re-roll that with Chronal Shift. Mm-hmm. <sighs> You suddenly snap out as your body jolts with electricity. By the way, I just want to say, uh, I'll suck. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, when I get mind control and tell, told to kill somebody, I blow my highest level shit. Y'all, 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 nah. Nah. Y'all suck. I was expecting some, like, straight up, like, fireball. magical nu Duke Nukem shit going on. I'm just going to tickle his balls a little hey, you bit. Specified, <laughs> to be fair, you specified fire damage. I have two fire damage spells, fireball and firebolt. Do they upcast? Fireball is the most powerful one I have. Yes, they that mm -hmm. kind of could have upcast. Yeah, yeah. I'll let it slide, but you do take the damage from his chromatic orb. Which is, it's a fair amount of damage. I'll give him that. Yeah, quit acting like I didn't hit him with everything. <laughs> God, I, I fucking hurt him, dude. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah I didn't one-shot him. That's insane. 
Sounds like <laughs> sounds like insane. weakness. Sounds like weakness. Uh, but yeah, the only thing I'll say to defend is if he wouldn't have burned like those high level spells right now against an enemy either, right? Anyways, like if, if his character normally wouldn't have gone fucking full tilt, then he shouldn't have to go full tilt Thanks, just because he's trying to kill his friend. But if he if he's the type of character that normally would be sending like his highest level shit all the time, then yeah, you kind of got to play it that way. I'm just saying weakness. Anyway, Spoonbreaker bonus action. I don't I don't know what I'm allowed to do. What do you got? Oh, I don't have any like attacks or anything that are bonus actions. No quick and spell? Uh oh, I guess. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, I do have quick and spell. What you wanna do? I don't know, dude. What the fuck you want me to do, bro? You're the one controlling me. Uh, he just said kill him. Try and kill him. Uh, all right. Yo, I love you, bro. Hit him with chromatic orb. Level five. You can try. I'm gonna fucking hit you, bro. <laughs> you just jinxing this, ain't you? <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> did my roll not go through? Uh, if it did, it's not there yet. At least not for me. There it is. I think that's a mess, isn't it? It's a mess. No, oh, thank God. That's a mess. See, there you go. Yeah, shut the fuck up, Blair. I'm actually using my spells, <laughs> dude. Do you have? Do you wish to use any movement? Um. Uh... I mean, yeah, get the fuck away from me, you fucking weirdo chameleon-looking pedo. <laughs> All right. Got him. Hey, Richter. I'm drawing a blank. What the, falls, what the fuck is that fucking weak-ass bard spell when you talk shit? Vicious mockery. Yeah. That's the thing he did. Well, at the end of Spoonbreaker's turn, being Phoenix there, this one is going to cast a little something at you. I think. Hold on. Uh, what? Cast, cast a spell. Yeah. Legendary Ooh. action. Oh, gotcha. Legendary action. Sorry. I'm looking at the turn order going, how in the fuck <laughs> can they see me? <laughs> Seeing how many you've taken out. You know what? I'm going to put that one in chat so y'all can see. It's that a, means it's going to be one. a good one. <laughs> Oh, this cocksucking shit. I get force caged in every goddamn game. <laughs> You're taking out too many of his cronies, bro. All right. And there's nothing I can do about that, right? I just get caged. Prison in the uh, shape of a box. No, I mean, like, there's no roll for it or anything. I don't know. Uh, if the creature tries to use, okay, teleportation or planner, no. Only, yeah, uh, no, there's nothing to stop you from casting it, and there's nothing that gets me out of it besides, like, Misty Step or something. This is true. Yeah, I'm aware. Because this is literally fucking... Mike did it to me first against that character, and then fucking Mitch did it to me against Durnak. And now you're doing it to me against Phoenix. I've literally been forced caged in every game this summer. <laughs> really? Damn. Literally, yes. As soon as I saw what it was, I was like, fucking hell. <laughs> Gotta take the powerful player <laughs> out, right? <laughs> uh, so, Richter. Wisdom save, sir. Is 
That is a fail. Indeed. Sorry, she had to be a little closer. So she cast it from here. She's then going to move this way. And she says, I liked watching you try to kill that rabbit. That, that female one who's attacking you as well. Kill her for me. That'll make me happy. This one is going to throw a maddening bolt at Wabu. Uh, that is a 26 to hit. Uh, 13 psychic. Uh, don't need a wisdom save because there's nothing near you to swing at. And I think these ones are all dead. Yes, they are. These ones are going to continue to fly towards you. And make their attacks, which are 99% chance going to miss. Uh, miss, miss, miss. Uh, again, as you're, you're uh, trying to move away, uh, they, they're trying to chase you down. They're just hitting your shell over and over again. Hey, Phoenix, what do you want to do inside this box? Uh, I have a question about that. Mm -hmm. If I have an attunement cloak and a non-attunement cloak, can I take off my attunement cloak, put on my unattunement cloak without unattuning to my attunement cloak? Yes. Hot. That okay. Will, that will take your uh your bonus action and your free action to do your object interaction. Okay. So Phoenix, um, the I can see the force cage like show up, right? Uh, yes, and I get to choose whether it is a prison or a solid box. We're gonna go with a solid box on this one. Okay. A cardboard box, by chance? <laughs> no, then I won't want out. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> so what do you got? Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, so... Uh, I don't know if you want me to roll to, like, think about it, but, like, Phoenix is thinking he's probably going to need to shift out of this instead of just, you know trying to run through it okay um no uh, I'm, I'm gonna say i'm pretty sure you've actually seen this before um or or if not actual force cage you have definitely seen um like wall of force and shit like that so I, I'm, I'm gonna say you know you can't really get out without something Okay, so Phoenix will swing off his uh, uh, cloak of the uh, peaceful rebirth, and he'll swing on his cloak of the Montebank. Okay. And I think that gives me a dimension door. Uh, which is a teleportation. So, charisma saving yes. throw. Yes. You Fuck. Think. You try to step, uh, you use it, and for a second you vanish, just in time Wait. to slam your Please face hold. into the door. Or Please the, hold. Okay. I'm sure I have a thing. A monk thing. Come on, baby. Give me my monk thing. Can't you burn a key point to her? Yeah, it? there it is. Reroll it. 
Damn. <laughs> Inspiration? Nope. Damn. Yeah, unfortunately, as you go to use this, you bamf, and then immediately bamf back into the cage uh, with your face pressed against the wall. You make it to there. I'll fucking hiss at him. Ah, uh, you're in a box. He he, he can't hear you. <laughs> well, that's fine. I'm just that's just my angry reaction to not getting out. Hey, Richter. That's a one a day, right? It is. Yeah. And even though I didn't get to use it, it's still burnt because it was technically used. Yep. <laughs> well, that's all I had. See you guys on the other side. Richter. You have been told to attack the rabbit creature who's attacking you with spells. Or kill, sorry. What was the command? It was just to kill. Did not specify type. Hmm. Okay. Uh, crown of stars action. Mm -hmm. Bonus action shooting a crown of stars at my boy. Make a range spell attack on a okay. hit. Okay. All right. Yes. Uh, what type of that's that? That's D12. Yep. 4D12. D12 damage. Right? Actually, it's actually an extra three d twelve if I hit. Um, here go. Twenty five spoon breaker. Uh, that's a miss. Damn, what's your AC? Twenty eight. God damn. Uh, okay, that's it. Okay. Let's see. Five, ten, fifty five. Thirty. And okay. He's going to hold there for the moment. <clears throat> and the... Here. Okay. He is also going to fly... Trying to cut off Wabu's movement. Not a whole lot else he could do. Oh, I missed that. Sorry, he is not. He disappears. Hmm. This one, however, will fly forward at Wabu and make an attack. 24, you take 5 slashing, Wabu. And then it is your turn. Okay. Oh, shit. All right, I'm just going to move up to Richter. Take your swings. Uh, it's one, two, three. All misses. Okay, I'm going to um, hold my prayer bead and use 
the ability on it and touch Richter for greater restoration. Uh, reduce target's exhaustion level by one and the following effects on the target. One effect of charmed or petrified. Richter, you snap out of it. Um, just after you have released a uh, a moat of your crown of stars at uh, Spoonbreaker, missing, luckily for you, and you hear, "Oh, damn it!" Bonus action, Wabu. Yeah, I'm gonna place my unicorn totem down. Uh, I'm like kind of like the middle of us all. I just gotta find the totem. Wabu's dropping his unit corn on the table. At this point, there's titties and units flying all over this battlefield. It's wild. Let's go. Add one unicorn turtle unit. Okay. Even if I'm, I'm in range, it's not going to do shit for me. Yeah, I'm. it's not going to pierce the force cage, I don't think. I think he's more trying to get it uh, so it's within range to heal uh, the three of them down there. He oh, yeah, no, as but many I, people as possible. That's all. I figure he probably put it up here so it would touch me, too, but I don't like it won't go through the force cage. I don't think. Yeah, yeah, so I can also only move it so proof. far, so I want to make yeah. sure I'm positioning it in the direction. If I'm too close here, I can't move it later. It's not moved. It only moves so far at a time. I don't know. Whoever's telepathic, if they saw my message or not, I put in the chat like uh, telepathically. The only way I'm still in this fight is if somebody can fucking teleport in here, grab me and teleport us out. Otherwise, I'm out. It can't There's... be uh, broken down? Nope. Nope. I don't even think killing him gets rid of it. It does not. It's just here for however long, I think an hour or something. Yep, one hour. Yeah. Yeah. Is that it, Wabu? Yeah, that's action, bonus action, movement. All right. Sulamine. So I'm going to use my free action to transform into the leathery cape thing. Uh, how high is the roof? Um, Probably about. Let's go with, is there stairs? I don't see stairs. So we'll go with about 25 feet. Uh, Well, sorry, 20 feet to get to like, you know, because it's, it's going to come up in the steeple. So 20 feet to the, you know, um, where you can get onto the roof. So 20 feet up uh, leaves me 30 feet, which I just moved. Uh, then I'll use my cunning action to move another 14. Okay, Um, you are also the, uh, for each two squares you move, you're also going up five more feet. It doesn't take off your movement, I'm just telling you so you know how high you are, in case you decide to jump off and you're surprised when you take a shit ton of damage. Got it. Now I'm flying for a while. And just to clarify, I'm still invisible, right? Yup. Cool, then I'm going to start shooting at this succubus over here. This one here? Yep. Alright, send it. Oh, <laughs> uh, 44, 64... <laughs> you want to describe that? Quick air to the dome, right between the eyes. 
Uh, yeah, that's all I got. I'm not good at this. I should leave this to you. No, uh, no, you, uh, yeah, you, you release an arrow, and uh, as, as she's screeching about uh, how she lost her her charm, uh, she hears the thwip, and she looks up in your direction just in time for this arrow to sink deep into her skull. It exits the other side uh, most of the way. You can no longer see even the feathers at the back of the, the arrow. They are just buried in her skull. And out the back pops uh, the arrow with a big chunk of brain on it. She collapses to the ground. Than I could do. Thank yeah. you. And I'm going to fire at the second one. All right, that's a hit. And that's all I've got. 23. Uh, I think they're immune to poison, was it? No, it was... Okay. So, yeah. You send another one. Uh, this one does not quite hit the mark as you were expecting. Um... But you end up piercing basically through uh, one of her kidneys and out her back. I mean, if succubus have kidneys, in the place where the kidney would be. Yeah. At the end of your turn. Legendary action. 20. 5. Something is now within range for her held action. Hey, Ash. Oh, no. That's me. It is. I need a wisdom save. Yeah, no. You black out, and you feel your body hit the ground. Suddenly, you feel strange. Almost like you're in a dream. You seem to be f floating. In a small cage at this ship. Ah, shit. Otherwise, uh... Da -da -da. Or more creature falls unconscious that soul is trapped in a curator's soul cage. Otherwise, a creature that fails the saving throw pain does struggles to body uh so you definitely failed by a lot more than five um okay so unfortunate uh you cannot yeah so you have nothing for now Spoonbreaker. carry out your orders sir Um, voice echoes in your head. Kill him, kill him, kill him. I will use a prismatic ray. All right. Uh, let me see your prismatic ray, please. And what level are you, uh, what, what level were you doing that at? Five. Richter, I need you to roll me a Arcana to see if you know what he's casting. And at what level. You know he is casting it at level five. And you know it is a prismatic ray. I'll cast by at level five as well. Okay. Bonus action. Uh, well, I'm out of meta magic, so no. All right.
Oh, this one. This one I don't think has attempted to charm you yet, has it, Richter? Yeah, it was this one that charmed you, right? Oh, I wasn't keeping track of that. Uh, I was until I removed the marker because you broke out of it. Fuck it, it's going to go for uh, Wabu. Um, give me your wisdom save. Yeah, you withstand it. Going to keep trying to attack you, Wabu? Actually, one of them's going to try and uh, charm Richter. Wisdom save, Richter. Sixteen. Can't hear you, Savage. Fuck. Uh, sorry, Wabu, you take eight slashing from an attack. Uh, Richter, another one is trying to slash you. Or, uh, charm you. Another one on top of the sixteen that I rolled? Yep. Wabu took two attacks, only one hit. There's four of them. Okay, you uh, you succeed against that one as well. Phoenix, uh, anything besides meditate? Sorry, push attack. Nope, I don't think there's anything else I can do for him in here. Reek tar. Okay. Okay. Richter is going to magic stone bonus action at Spoonbreaker. Okay. I do have pebbles on me. I remember you saying you so, picked them up a while ago, yeah. You got like a pocket full or yeah. a bag full or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So I'm going to shoot a magic stone bonus action over there. Mm-hmm. Let me find it. We got to find it on my list. There it is. Mm-hmm. Which I believe missed, <clears throat> and sure does. Uh, uh, here's the tricky part. So, Richter would have received that. He knows what's going on with Force Gauge. He can see what's going on. Uh, can I? Can, we could speak telepathically, limit, limitedly, except for Wabu and Sulamine, right? Mm-hmm. I am going to ask if we should get out of here or kill these people. I'm not going anywhere, friend. Richter's going to use teleport spell. And he's going to teleport everyone that's here back into this area over here. Okay. And I'm going to say to everyone, we have unfinished business. Let's cleanse this place before we move on. 
If that'll work at all, you need to roll a charisma save to get me. You are not within 10 feet. Yep. Okay, so how does that work? So within, within 10, 10 feet, feet right. you can right now get Wabu and you. Oh, son of a bitch. I didn't didn't notice that. And uh, Spoonbreaker uh, would not be willing because he is uh, still charmed. Shoot. And he's also a couple feet yeah. out of range. That makes more sense that the guys have to be close to me. Sorry, I didn't realize that. Well, if that's the case, then... But that's what, that's why I was saying earlier, the only way to get me out of this cage is for somebody to teleport in, get me, and teleport back out. Otherwise, I'm stuck in here. I could, I could maybe run to the edge. Be my only other thought. Uh, well, uh, You I went up to action. eight willing creatures that you can see. Can I not see them? No, it's a solid box. Oh, it's um, solid. I, I thought it looked more like an actual cage. Yeah, it's, I thought I could see them. No, uh, it specifically says, I will post it again for you, and I did specify that it was a box. Uh, what's it? Invisible cube shape. Oh, sorry, invisible. So if it is invisible, then yes, in fact, you uh, you would be able to see him. My apologies. All right, Richter's taking his action to dash, and he's running up towards Phoenix. Okay. Uh, which you passed right past Spoonbreaker. Um, Spoonbreaker has messaged me. He's yeah, a little indisposed. No, dude, that was earlier, bro. Oh, I just saw that now. <laughs> you have Warcaster, right? <laughs> yes. Make your attack of opportunity with the spell. Send a bitch. Um. To chromatic orb at level four. Okay. Uh, as you go to run by Richter, um, Spoonbreaker. Tries to cast a spell at you. Um, luckily for you, though, uh, the only thing that happens is your hair stands on end as a orb of lightning flies past your shoulder, slamming the invisible cage. Uh, it almost, it, if it wasn't for the cage, it probably would have hit you, Phoenix. Go ahead, Richter, finish your turn. That is Richter's turn. Uh, he uses action to dash, and he used bonus action magic stone cool and at the end of your turn he has one last action or one last legendary action which he will use to leap uh 5 10 15 25 30 And as it is his turn, he is going to again five, ten, fifteen, twenty, five. Yes, thirty. Oh, I didn't notice he has an aura. Well, damn, y'all should have been taking damage from for a while. Uh, but as he gets to here, who frog boy? Yeah, he's got an aura. Uh, I mean, not everybody would have. It's not a huge, aura, but still, it's just a little aura. Hey, Richter. Hey. 
24 to hit. That hits. You are yanked 10 feet closer. Right onto his aura. Nice. As you take 20 bludgeoning damage. Lay at his feet. And feel the aura Yank. penetrate you. Ew. God. What the what? fuck? You take two bites. <laughs> nice. 26 and 34 to hit. Hit, hit. 26 bludgeoning. Uh, are you immune to poison? Uh, one moment. I have advantage against poison and resistance to poison. Okay, uh, so... You took my parapet proof of poison. Right, so you only take four poison instead of eight, but 26 bludgeoning from the first attack. Uh, the second attack... Uh, you take... Sorry, say that again. All right, I take four and, and how many? Four poison, 26 bludgeoning, so total of 30 for the first attack. You also then take 31 bludgeoning. Hello, darkness. <laughs> that was an accident. <laughs> it fit. Um, 31 bludgeoning from the second attack and five poison. He says, now, now. Really shouldn't try to bring him out of there. Don't tell me what to do, frog. And that is the end of his turn. Succubus, or sorry, the incubus that is invisible at the moment. Hmm. Seeing what Wabu done. Yeah, they're not going to be able to block him. So, seeing what Wabu has done. Oh, that's an action. Yeah, he's not going to do that. Uh, he's going to stay where he is. Wabu, you're up. Okay, I'm going to move up to uh, <clears throat> Bunny Girl. Mm hmm. Attack of opportunities. Um. Oh, yeah, they did have the turn, didn't they? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, two of them are because I moved two of them out of turn on accident. Only two of them are going to get theirs. Oh, sorry. That, oh, I just wasted a fucking nat 20 because I rolled off the wrong stat block. Oh. Uh -huh. oh. What is he doing? Terrible. Shut up. You fucking misses. Go ahead, Wabu. I will use my prayer beads again for another greater restoration on Mr. Mrs. Bunny. Okay. And then I will use uh, mass cure wounds uh, or mass healing words. Sorry, it's a bonus because it's bonus action on all party members I can see. So it's probably just the three of us that I can see right now. Hey. Oh, wait, I can see him. So can I hit him with it? No. <laughs> no. Uh, okay. Hold on a sec. Let me, let me look at Force Cage again. I'm pretty sure the only magic that penetrates it in or out is uh, teleportation with the charisma check. You know, a side made from... Uh, or any, like, plane-shifting magic. Being a solid barrier that prevents any matter from passing through and blocking any spells into... I'm pretty oh, sure yeah. it blocks... Yeah, blocks, blocks any spells magic. casting into or out from the area when you cast a spell on your creature completely inside it is trap. Okay, yeah. No. Unfortunately, you cannot hit Phoenix, but you can hit everybody else. I okay, hate so that I'm so three, familiar with this fucking spell. And then everybody else, <laughs> no. 
And then everybody in the radius that I choose also gets healing from the totem. Does that count to him because it's not a spell directing at him? Um, I'm going to say oh. no because the... the no! Because <laughs> the um, um, the way the totem would work is like it, it would, it, it's it would be blocking the orb because it's still magic. Okay, so the three of us get twenty six each, and then that is my turn. Am I not in the lizard's pocket? Uh your soul is. Wait, I get twenty six. Oh, not my body, just my soul. Okay. Your body's on the ground. Yeah, okay. Oh, shit. Sure, I mean. Oh, actually, um, sorry. Huh? Nobody saw him take my soul. No, so he I'm didn't. No, nobody saw that shit. Uh, yeah. Before Sulamine's turn, he's going to make another attack as a legendary action on a boy Shit, Rector. you're just behind the building, too, so nobody even knows where you are. It's easier that you're down. No, I saw her behind the building. <laughs> Yeah, but you, hey, Richter? you don't know she's down, right? I don't. No. Yes, yeah, Spoonbreaker. Uh, he uh, he created restoration to you. You uh, you are no longer mind controlled. Um, Richter, twenty eight hit. Yes, sir. Twenty six bludgeoning and five poison after resistance. Sulamine, you're up. How does this succubus look right here, or left? Um, like she's still ready to fight, but she's pretty bloody. All right, I'll use my stealth attack on her then. Her All mistake. right. <laughs> you want to describe that? Nah, I'm gonna let you do it. I suck at it. All right. After taking one arrow in the uh, in the kidney area, uh, she turns and you basically uh, shoot her just north of the private area. Uh, hits her intestines and it literally pulls a string of intestines out her uh, out the back. Love it. She falls to the ground. Incubi down here injured. Both of these two. I'm going to name the one in the upper left. If I can click on the right block. Actually, I'm going to use my bonus action first to shift my hunter's mark to him and then hit him. Uh, straight through the, uh, the, 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 let's go straight through the temple. Um, one of his eyes pops out. Hanging on by the nerve. He drops to the ground. And uh, I'm going to use my flight to move across to the other six, seven, eight, nine, ten roof. And how tall is this roof? Also 25 feet? Uh, yeah, they're about the same height. Okay, and that's me. Uh, I don't do anything, Ash, but let me check. Be sure. Okay. Unfortunately, no, Ash. You are, uh, until somebody helps you, you are out of the fight. Spoon Breaker. Uh, you snap out of it as Wabu, uh, Grips his prayer beads and gives you a little, little slap on the forehead there. What do you want to do? Um, I'm going to be pretty shocked looking at everybody that's fucked up and dead around me. And then I'm going to look at the big gecko looking motherfucker and, and use banishment. Okay, let me see it. That is a what save? Prisma. Prisma. What's your DC? 
more than you can handle. Oh, right? BC? It's yeah. 25. He begins to fade away. But suddenly pops back into existence as he uses uh, his first legendary resistance of the day. Gotta burn him somehow. Bonus action. Yeah, I'm gonna dip. Well, that's movement, but I get what you mean. Yeah, and then, yeah, I'm gonna just be grateful to Wabu. Grateful for Wabu. All right. The end of your turn. Richter. 30 hits, so 24 bludgeoning and 3 poison after resistance. Something I actually forgot to do on his turn. Do that now, just give it a little roll, see? Okay. And I believe... Yep, they are all dead. They are not quite all dead. There is one left up. Five, ten, fifty, five, thirty, forty. Gonna get to here. I'm sorry, Spoonbreaker. I need another wisdom save. Why do you even say sorry? Do you have anything to avoid this? Um, yes. When I make an ability check that fails. This is a saving throw, not an ability check. Hell yeah. Nope. Yeah. Okay. He says, Follow me. And he's got a little bit more movement left. He's going to use that. And he has bade that you follow him. Phoenix, uh, I guess you're not doing nothing, eh? Uh, Phoenix falls deeper into his meditation. Okay. And he will try to... Well, I mean, not really try to. He's going to pray to Ray for any assistance that she may be able to give towards this forest cage as he's at a loss 
and he doesn't know what else to do. Do you have an ability that helps you do that? Nope. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, not I. I can contact my deity during a long rest okay. via my gear, but it's just he's just praying. Fair I didn't ex- like. I don't expect it to do anything. That's just he doesn't. He he knows he's out. That's he knows fair. he's done. So he's just during his meditation, he's just gonna pray towards Ray and be like, "Look, like you know, I'm pinned here. My friends need me." If there's anything you can do. All right. But again, I'm not like, this isn't me trying to game break. I'm not expecting anything. It's just what he's doing. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, Richter. Yeah. How many, uh, okay. I think he moved. No, he's only used two legendary actions, right? attacked you twice not on his turn is that correct been doing shit i don't know and he and he did the the not banishing for his legendary resistance does that count as a no it does not count against his uh his things unfortunately Damn, Richter, you're still alive. 30 to hit, 15 bludgeoning, and after resistance, 4 poison. Fuck it. Yes. It is your turn. Richter looks at him, dead in the eye, bleeding to death, gives him two middle fingers as a free action. Misty steps over to the side of the cage and casts Teleport. Okay, now let's take a look quickly at that one more time. Uh, the case that by non tries to use teleportation or inter travel, leave the cage, it must first make a saving throw. Phoenix! Yeah. I need a charisma saving throw because you are the one leaving. <sighs> hey! Holy hey, shit. Yes. You beat it by three. Congratulations. Yes. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> I knew the soundboard was a bad I'm fucking idea. <laughs> I'm being nice I'm with the soundboard. us right here. Okay. So not very far away. As Richter coughed blood up on his shirt and laughs and looks to uh, Phoenix like, hey, hey, buddy. And that's his turn. Actually, I have a little bit of movement. He's going to stumble backwards a little bit and hug the wall. Okay. Yeah, don't go too far. There's another one in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, he doesn't know that. You nobody knows that. Except for Spoonbreaker. He just yeah. Who I by just the way seems the to be like heading towards that direction. Just gingerly. Oh yeah. Oops, this guy's fucking Oh well. He's gonna come to here and Wabu. He's going to try to tongue you, buddy. Uh, which... He, you are not prone. He does not have advantage, so a 20 misses. But he's going to move forward and bite you anyway. 32 and 24 to hit. Yep. 21 bludgeoning, 12 poison. And 25 bludgeoning and 9 poison. Oh, 
67. Oh, fuck. I forgot about his aura again. Richter might have actually been down. Damn. <laughs> Wabu. Yeah. You're up. Um, I'm going to cast heal on Richter. So that's 70 HP. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm just gonna double check if I get any heals from doing that or not, because I don't think it's inside the radius. Oh, it says aura outside the aura, so that means me and Phoenix both get 17. Indeed. That. Nice. Neat. Um, and then I'm going to cast Mass Healing Words with my bonus action. Oh, I actually forgot one thing. Keep keep going, but I got to roll the fucking aura yeah. that I keep fucking forgetting. Oh, mass it's, Healing it's Words. Mass. So all four of us <laughs> will get nine, uh, and then Phoenix and I will get an extra 17. So Phoenix and I will get 26, and then the two of you will get nine. Uh, and you take seven psychic um, wabu from the aura. Okay. So that I should have been adding to people the whole time. That's my turn. Spoonbreaker, I thought you took more damage than that. Damn. Or did Wabu already heal you up that much with his, his uh, unicorn totem? Yeah, I was healed a couple Damn. times. Damn. Damn. I, I only took like 20 damage or so. Damn. All right, Wabu. End of your turn. So I am going to... Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. End of Sorry. Wabu's turn. Legendary action. He's going to... Oh, I hit the wrong button. Uh... Damn, that is a crit. Wabu. Uh, luck. Feature. Reroll that. <laughs> it's a nat one. Nice. Damn. You, 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 oh, that's oh. right. You and your luck, bud. How many charges you got of that? Two left for today. Oh, Three shit. Again. Sick timing. That was awesome. Uh, Ash is still in the soul cage. Oh, sorry. I skipped Wab or Sulamine. My apologies. Go ahead, Sulamine. Do your thing. So a bonus action to shift my uh, hunter's mark over to the frog. Okay. That's a hit. All right. So that is 37. And... Okay. And I'm going to fire at the incubus on the left. Okay. Hmm. Uh, that one really hurt. 
He's still up, ready to fight, but he's, uh, that one hit a, probably hit a lung. Starts to choke. Action surge, I'm going to shoot at him again. Okay. Uh, yep, that's a hit. That that's finishes cool. him. Okay. And now is action surge two extra attacks or one extra attack? Two. Okay. It's another shoot full round of attacks. Shoot of the incubus on the right. All right. Thirty-one and seventeen. Uh, which some of that is this day? Yes. And then I will use my flight to fly over to the other building. And that is all I've got. Okay. And end of your turn. Little uh, bitey bite action. Uh, does not have advantage, so that's a mess. Ash, you are in a soul cage. Yeah. Spoonbreaker, he has asked you follow him. Nope, that way, that way. As you enter the building, he says, please shut the door. As he gets to here, he strokes your cheek. Are oh, very beautiful, aren't you? He plants a big one on your furry lips. I need a con save, please. Diddy as fuck. All right, so half as much on success, which is you take 30 psychic damage. Your hit point maximum is reduced by, oh, sorry, no, you take half of it because you succeeded. Uh, so you take 15. And your uh, maximum hit points is reduced by 15, and you can make a wisdom save. Your nose trickles a little blood, and you kind of open your eyes to see him pulling away from a kiss. Little, little goober string in between the two of you. Ah, isn't that... Oh, no. As he realizes that he has lost um, the charm. Wait, so it's my turn, right? Yes. You have used your movement. You have used your object interaction. You still have your action and bonus action. I'm gonna fucking kill these two. What the fuck? Dude, it's done. It's done. I'm not having fun. I'm done. <laughs> Send it. I'm going to hit these two with Sunbeam. Sunbeam? Yes, it is part of my kit. All right, let me Six see. Six charges it. for, uh, yeah, here. Six charges. Light, uh, five foot wide. All right, well, let me do this.
Dude, I feel like I'm in Zed's fucking shop right now, dude, getting freaky. All right, uh, 60 foot, yeah. It'll, it'll, uh, roll me your damage. Doesn't matter what you roll, that one's going to die for sure. Uh, on. That is a crit on the save. So that is auto success. Um, but he still takes, I believe, half, right? That takes half as much and is not blinded. Seven. <laughs> and then I'd like to use my tempestuous magic. Okay. Door is shut. So, I'm like actually kind of trapped in here while they get freaky with me. Cool. Did you use Better your bonus luck. action? I used my object interaction, right? So, can I use my bonus action to open the door? Uh, you have no more movement left. So if you're not using your temptuous magic, you can't. Uh, you're not you're be able right. To move. You're right. Okay. I am. Well, I mean, I still can move the spaces I moved. No, that spot was 30. Wasn't it? You, you were in between Phoenix and. Or no, you were here, weren't you? Yeah, but tempestuous magic isn't. It's free movement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get your 10 feet of movement. All right, which was here. Okay. Yeah. Well, I moved you back because you said, well, I I'm going to move. Uh, that's that's why. Uh, okay. We, I, good. I see. Okay. I was like, am I doing it wrong? All right. I guess that's um the end of my turn. Yeah. Um, From inside this building, Richter and Phoenix and probably even Wabu, you guys can hear a blast. Um, and out the back, the, the wall breaks out behind this creature. Um, a bright, bright light, just a huge beam, looking like it's, it would come straight down from the sun itself, burst out the back wall. Draw that in. That's uh, that's basically the section of the wall that is now missing. Yeah, they're getting weird, and I was not having it. All right, which one? That is. I think all the ones are dead now, so they are gone. Got to be the weirdest one at the party. Usually that's me. That's why it's bizarre how weird they're getting. At the end of Breaker's turn, I'm going to make his final legendary action for this round. Twenty-three to hit on Wabu. Yep, that hits. 19 uh, bludgeoning and 12 poison. And uh, Phoenix, 31. it is your turn. Yeah. Phoenix is going to grab this corner, uh, flip around, and plant his feet on the wall, and like dive at the frog. And when and... you say dive, how, how do you mean that? So like uh he's almost so I like I said I grabbed the corner with two hands right because I can wall walk yeah so I, I'm flipping around the wall like a like a almost like a front flip around the wall mm -hmm. and then diving like fists first that's just how I'm attacking your flavor okay yeah sure that that's that's more yeah. what I was asking if you were like you know like flavoring it or like if or trying to do something different. But yeah, send me your tax. 
Okay. Both are hits. And all four are hits. Uh, uh, okay. So let me total this up. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong stat block. Right. Okay, I gotta remove all of that. Okay. Uh you realize he's not taking any fire damage, but uh your your fists are doing a pretty goddamn good job. You moving uh, at all? No, I'm good here. Okay. Rektar. Uh, Richter moves away from the wall to get line of sight on this guy. I can hit him from here, eh? I got line of sight on him. Mm-hmm. Richter's going to send two charges of Crown of Stars at this thing. Okay. For action, bonus action. Ooh. Fortunately, the first one is a hard mess. Uh, he just kind of like shifts his head and it just sails on by. Right. Second one, however, it does hit. Okay. So, 40. Okay. Uh, he moved 10, and now he's going to move 15 to go right into the door here. And Are you opening up. the door? That'll be right there. Uh, is the door not open? No, it is not. Oh. I'll just go right to the corner here. Okay. Yeah, that's it. So you're not in line of sight of him anymore, huh? Correct. Damn, that is... That is a fucking shame. For who? Well, for Ash, mostly. I'm gonna die, aren't I? We'll see you soon, I hope. You might want to see the innkeeper before you leave. <laughs> Anybody a, in there? Was that a private soul conversation? <laughs> no, he was he was talking to the two of you that are right there. Does either one of you have any kind of reaction to stop this? I don't know what this is. The teleport. It, it, it's in chat. I can't stop no. the teleport. Mm -mm. Nope, dudes don't have anything to do that. He 
vanishes. Pussy. Spoonbreaker, you watch as this one disappears. Which one? Mm, the suck the incubus that was still in the room with uh, Spoonbreaker. There was a second one. Yep. Oh, I didn't even see that one. And with that, we are out is this of one, combat. Is this one fucking off too? Uh oh shit! I didn't see him. Hold on a sec. Let's reopen. That is two. And this one's group number is, yeah, two. He's disappearing as well. Combat is now over. I'll drop greater invisibility. Oh shit! He just dipped out of here. Yeah, and that means he—I mean, we still don't know shit, but that means he took Ash's soul. <sighs> Bye. Three days. Well, what, where's Ash? He said see the innkeeper. I don't know if that's a hint. Uh, I don't know, but I guess we should. Phoenix says as he's licking. I mean, he's got no wounds at all, but he's licking the dry blood out of his fur from his previous wounds. I'll start recouping arrows if I can. Savage. Yeah, sure. Anything that hit, you can get back. Got it. So, what would everybody like to do? Uh, assuming is grabbing his arrows and such. You guys look around and notice Ash hasn't come out from wherever it was that she was. Last I saw her, she was behind this building. I'll point back this way and start walking that way. Uh, Phoenix will follow, and as he does, he'll call out as loud as he can, The coast is clear! Hey now. Yeah, I'd be following. Ollie, Ollie, oxen free. <laughs> I just, you know, everybody's run, run to hide, right? So he's just calling out to the the village. It's it's clear. We got it. As Sulamin and Phoenix, you guys get to the back. Um, the the streets are mostly cleared. At least this particular street. Um, but. You see Ash lying there, pale, shallow breathing. Wabu, can Get you fix this? Get your fat ass back here. Actually, Wabu's not back there. No, there he is. No more soundboard, I swear to fuck, Rob. <laughs> that was because the frog left. Uh, I'll take a look at her or him. Sure. Oh, I shouldn't have closed that stat block. I need to look at the spell. All right. Okay, so as 
you take a look at her wall? Roll me a medicine check. Physically, there doesn't seem to be much wrong with her. These wounds she has should not be life-threatening. She should not be unconscious. Uh, you look her over, you don't see any signs of any kind of poison. Um, whatever's happening with her is not a normal medical thing. They give me a... Arcana advantage if Richter wants to help. I would be helping. Uh, I'm over here watching so I could help any way I could. Between you and Richter, you figure out that the two of you have in the past heard of Um, particular beings being able to pull a soul from a body. I will show you what exactly this You are aware that a body can survive unconscious for three days without a soul. After the third day, the body dies. The creature cannot be resurrected until its soul is Uh, would I have any knowledge that if it was put, if the body is put in a bag of Hunter, if that changes things? I'm going to say, give me. You're going to put me in a meat bag? Well, it slows the meat, meat from aging. So I listen, mean, come you, on. You damn meat sack. <laughs> I'm just joking. You're going to put oh, your own meat. Mead sacks don't talk. <laughs> um, give me. I'm gonna say Arcana again. Advantage if Richter is going to help you think through this. Let's do it, Richter. Yeah. I would say that would depend on whether or not he says it out loud. But it's Wabu, of course. He said it out loud. <laughs> You feel that you hope this would work? Whether it will or not, you are not sure. This is, this is not something that would have been written about in books or passed down in knowledge. What you can do, however, is you can test it. Pull her out after the uh, after twenty four hours and take another examination. Uh, Phoenix kind of says somberly, "He's like, well, it's, it's worth a shot, Wabu. Good thinking. Anything we can do." So, player knowledge. It probably shouldn't, but I was really expecting you guys to stop him from, from getting out of there. So, I'm going to rule this as it will slow it. It will not stop it from happening. I will give you triple the time. You have nine days. Uh, Richter starts casting a ritual divination spell. Um, before you do that, 
how far can you post your hunter's mark for me please oh sure Ooh. Find it. Give me one sec. Sorry. No, no seconds. Too late. Okay. Ash is dead. Okay. I'm done. <laughs> what? No. <clears throat> All right. Up to an hour till the spell ends. Damage target whenever you hit it with a weapon attack. Yada yada. Target drops. Yada yada yada. Uh oh! You should not anyway. have known exactly where your marks were. You have advantage on perception and survival checks to find it. Okay. Um. So yeah, you uh, he he's definitely not in the area. Um, Richter, if you wish to cast divination. Yeah, Richter steps to the side and starts prepping the ritual, pulling out a bunch of different uh, materials. Hey. Right. So, you ask a single question concerning a specific goal, event, or activity to occur within seven days. Reply might be a short phrase, cryptic rhyme, or an omen. Uh, it doesn't take into account any possible circumstances that might change the outcome, such as the casting of additional spells or the loss or gain of a companion. Okay. What is your question? Uh, is this a thing you said you're stepping away and doing it on your own, or do we know what you're doing? I would be very open about it. So I would, uh, if there's any input into the question, as I'm prepping and drawing it all up, definitely would have time to talk about it. Okay. Uh, Phoenix would suggest if it's an activity to occur within seven days, uh, Phoenix would suggest that maybe you ask uh, where will Ash's soul be in 24 hours? That gives us time to fucking have a long rest and then go after, right? Because then we have a, we can have a planned attack. Is my thought. Yeah, yeah, and that is a uh, a good specific question concerning a goal. So yeah, I will prep the spell, and that is what I'll ask. I think that gives us enough time to rest and everything should we need it. So. Uh, we'll keep it to 24 hours, and the question be, will be where will Ash's soul reside in 24 hours? The location. I want you to give me a D100. Before you do, I want you to understand what it is for. Do not, do, don't put it in yet. So. Put it all the way in. Jesus fucking Christ. Um... So, 51 to 100 will give you a very cryptic reply. I'm going to say 21 to 50 will give you a, a little bit more clear of a reply. And one to twenty will give you the clearest reply. Ah, oh, I hate trying to roll low. It psychs me out. Okay. That's not bad. The 
words. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Rob, I swear to fuck. <laughs> you get the reply of... Oh, how am I going to put this? Yo, I'm tight with my God. Three coordinates, X, Y, and Z. No, no, that, that, that would have been, that would have been like a one or two. That. I think I can help. <laughs> so I just I, I, I want to I, I want to tell you what uh, what uh, the can I do something. Can I ask you a question? What will you let me Doctor Strange it with Convergent Future? No, that's got to be a D twenty, my boy. Tack roll, ability check, or saving throw. This yeah. is none of those. Yeah, yeah. Those are so I'm going to tell you first off what the uh, what the very vague answer would have been in a soul cage. However, yeah, I figured that much. With your role, I'm going to give you soul cage, oh. ring, glade. Soul Cage, Ring, Glade. Uh, Richter repeats over and over again to the group. That's all I'm getting. What the fuck in is that all, supposed to mean? In all of the books that Richter's read, does anything come to mind for Ring and Glade? Um, he is an expert researcher. So anything he's ever researched for more than an hour, he will remember. Like the map? Yeah. Well, there are glades all over Wildmount. Um, one thing you remember reading. I want you to give me... I want you to give me a history of advantage for this one. Doing everything I can to give you the answer without just flat out giving it to you for nothing. Okay, okay. The history. You remember you have a book. And the title of the book had something to do with... Uh, actually, sorry, it wasn't the title of the book. When you were flipping through, it had something in there about... World ending rings. Given what is going on, these creatures being here, you feel that it has got something to do with Saz Tam and his plans. And as you think about the word glade. You're stuck in thought trying to figure out where this ring could be. What glade is it? Out stumbles from this new hole in the wall uh, a man. He kind of stumbles out and he kind of like trips over the rubble and <laughs> he's fucking hammered. Very disheveled. He's got half his shirts untucked. He's got lipstick all over his face. <laughs> You know, if the world wasn't ending, I'd be kind of mad about this. <laughs> he kind of like... Uh, well, Phoenix will move to intercept him to make sure Richter can do his thing. Oh, he he's thinking right now. Like, he's got his answer. Oh, yeah, I know. But, like, Phoenix doesn't want him interrupted. So he's just... Like, he's not, like, you know, fucking with the guy. Continue what you're doing. But Phoenix is just moving... In between. Well, he he kind of starts to stumble and trip, and uh, it, it, the bottle in his hand kind of goes flying, and it, it fucking smashes, uh, you know, um, against some of the rubble. Ah, oh, that's my last bottle. Hey, 
You look familiar. I don't know many Sebastian. Do I know you? Uh, I don't think we've met personally. Why don't we uh, go back inside? And Phoenix will produce a bottle of Mr. Chugs. Oh, he reaches for it. Phoenix will kind of keep it just that. I think he's probably more in the rubble, so Phoenix will keep moving that way. He'll, Phoenix will keep it just out of his reach, and he'll be like, ah, inside. As he starts to reach for it, he kind of looks over and sees the rest of the group um, kind of huddled on the other side of the, uh, the stone wall. Hey, wait, wait a minute. Oh... You're Phoenix, aren't you? Hey, why are all those big booby ladies on the ground? Listen, let's go inside. We'll have a drink, and I'll tell you a tale. I'll tell you what. You hand me that bottle, and I'll give you something. And he pulls what seems to be a letter out from um, a pocket. It is crumpled and uh it's definitely had some shit spilled on it hmm tradesy as you as he's kind of waving this around uh it's crinkled but you do make out some words on this uh this thing and it is still sealed the words you can make out is stormforged and it is sealed with the same insignia you guys use for sending letters at your house. Chains. Phoenix, Phoenix will look him in dead in the eyes and be like, are you going to take it and go inside? Mm, yeah. Deal. And he hands his hand out, or he puts his hand out for the bottle, and in the other hand he puts out, and it's got the letter. Trades. Phoenix will swap him. <laughs> he, he turns around and starts to head back inside. He takes a, another chug as he's taking a step. So obviously he can't see where his feet are going, and he trips. Uh, he lands hard on the rubble, and he is boom out like a light. Bottle smashes. Uh, I'm going to try and stop the battle bottle from smashing. I'm going to say that's probably going to be a sleight of hand. You, uh, you, you, you try to, uh, uh, as it falls, you try to get your foot between it and a rock and try and kick it, and unfortunately, instead of kind of, like, kicking it gently and lifting it up, you kick a little too hard, and the bottom breaks out. Uh, shame. Phoenix will take the letter and head back towards the group. <laughs> uh, so we will end in just, like, two minutes. I just want to get you guys to read this letter before uh, before we end. I know it's a little late. Everybody probably wants to get going. Yeah, Phoenix, you head back to the group with the uh, the letter in hand. Phoenix, as he's walking by, will kind of <sighs> make sure Sulamin sees it, you know, show it to him, and motion towards the group. Sulamin will walk over to have a look with the group. Uh, and Phoenix will open the letter. Hello, friends. I hope this letter finds you well. I really hope that, uh, the curator didn't cause you too much problems. I had every faith you'd defeat him. But, uh, I really do hope that, uh, I will see you soon in the glade you should probably bring whatever armies you'd have left you're gonna need all the help you can get signed uh 
T-S. And as you look at this letter, there seems to be several drops of blood on this paper. And it, they, the drops are definitely on the inside. They are dried. They've been there for a little while. P.S. We're all looking forward to seeing you soon. Did anyone have any means of identifying whose blood this is? Take that as a no. Not I. I just shoot shit. Yeah, Wabu doesn't got shit. He's he's useless. I'm unconscious. <laughs> that is correct. And then a meat bag. <laughs> Spoonbreaker, do you have uh, any way of identifying whose blood this is? I mean, maybe from when my character was like an assassin. No, assassins would not. I mean, if there's several different blood types, you definitely would not be able to tell. It would have to be something magical in means. Yeah, my my guess is probably like if anything, it would be some kind of fucking wizard magic. Detect magic? No, probably not. I was tell you it's magic. Spoonbreaker, I would like you, however. You, you, something dawns on you, and whether you decide to tell the group this or not, that is up to you. That, that initials, the handwriting. You recognize it. TS stands for. Tidst Sonali. Do you share this information or do you hold it? I'll share the information. As he tells you that that is the handwriting and initials of his follower. We will pick up again in two weeks. Spoonbreaker's follower betrayed us. Blame Spoonbreaker. Whoa, fuck me in the ass because I love Jesus. Oh my god, I'm going to ban your ass, Rob. <laughs> I was waiting for that one for you to say endgame. <laughs> I'll be back. All right, well, Jesus Christ. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. I know today did have some uh, rather uncomfortable... Um, um, some rather uncomfortable situations and such uh but thank you everybody for coming um i have tomorrow off as my grandmother's birthday i'm gonna hang out with her for the day um i might be back during the week i'm not sure it depends how i feel what i'm doing um but i would like to tell you all that next weekend uh it is a full video game weekend except for saturday's uh afternoon game where uh we are doing another lost minds in the mad mage um excuse me uh friday is my birthday so i'm gonna be doing a probably a longer stream i might start start a little bit earlier um i don't want to be up too late as i've got uh you know stuff to do uh on here saturday afternoon um but we are going to be rocking some probably tarkov space marine i might play some other games too um we'll see what happens uh we are we do have a giveaway so if you know you can sub with prime uh you can donate cheer gift subs uh um sub with actual money up to you but you can get entries into our giveaway so uh with that being said i really hope to see y'all here uh this coming week and remember everybody to go home pieces